Welcome one and all to Razor Fist Arcade Live. That was Manowar with Outlaw. Boy, that that Carl Logan guitar solo was was something. He that guy can really tap some minors. <clears throat> Anyways, so might even say shred some minors. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. How the fuck are you, Tara Gell? Say hello to the kind people. Hello. And to Carl everyone. Logan in prison. <laughs> You're beginning to irritate me. <laughs> Thank you, Chuck. That wasn't even... <laughs> Jesus Christ, that wasn't even planned, folks. I swear to God. <laughs> so, we're going to play some call up. Juarez. Juarez. We're not just going to let you walk out. Oh! Who's we, sucker? Smith and Wesson. Wesson and me. <laughs> Sorry, we always have to pause for Eastwood. There's going to be some Eastwood on this fucking stream, folks. I imagine so. So, uh, for those who don't know, Call of Juarez Gunslinger, first off, it actually predates Red Dead Redemption. So somebody earlier who said it was a ripoff of Red Dead. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> came <laughs> came out three years before. Whoops. Uh, and it's a first-person shooter, and really it's nothing like Red Dead Redemption. No, it's, nothing. Except that it's a cowboy game. <laughs> uh, I really liked the first Call of Juarez, 
and I really dig the second one. Second one's maybe the best in the series, and uh, the less spoken about the cartel, uh, the better. Uh, kind of like the Democrat Party doesn't like talking about cartels. So let's go ahead and tear into some uh, Call of Juarez Gunslinger. Uh, this was kind of a reboot for the series, because I think, when the fuck was the cartel? Like, 2011? Oh, God, that was a while ago. It was, like, and I think Gunslinger came out in 2013, 2014 or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's kind of like a, a little soft reboot going on there. But ain't nothing soft about Call of Juarez Gunslinger. Let's see how the game audio And for is. once, the fucking, uh, the chat works. Oh, look at them Navy Colts. Look at those suckers. I think those are Navy Colts. I don't know. I don't, I, I'm not as good with, uh, cap and ball revolvers as, as other, as other folks might be. Those would be, uh, Wild Bill Hickox pistols, by the way, if they are Navy Colts be playing with mouse and keyboard which is a little odd for me i think i played this game originally with a controller i haven't fucked around with this too much uh okay let's see should we continue i don't i forget how far i'm in to the game uh or we could start over i, I don't really give a fuck either way i think I forget who does the cutscenes for this. It's a popular comic book artist. Forget if it's John Cassidy or uh, so. Uh, I, I I fucking forget. You'll see when we get to a cutscene here. Looks like overall people want you to start a new game. Okay, this is told in framed narrative. The. Uh splendiferous narrative technique used in the world-rending masterpiece known as Dragon Age 2. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not that we should hold that against it. <laughs> All right. Hi, Synthetic Thief. Welcome to the stream. Okay. Bitchin' little game here. You know, linear first-person shooter, but a little bit more going on in the hood. Oh, yeah, that's some John Cassidy. Abilene. That's either John Cassidy or, um, what's his name? No, that's, that looks like Cassidy to me. It's either him or Derek Robertson. I can't tell which. Don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. <laughs> I'm Molly. Howdy. Jesus. I'm Dwight. That's Jack. Fucking suffocate herself. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true. Oh, hi there. Jack. Be fucking nice. Jack McCall from Deadwood. Fucking traced him. In Bannock, Montana. Is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed it. And you called them collectibles. <laughs> I heard he climbed real tall towers to collect flags. Uh, for the record, the sound is a bit low. Okay. I cranked it up a little bit, but we can pump it up a little more. Thankfully... The subtitles are on. Yeah. Once upon a time in stinking springs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, 
just a moment. He said the uh, is what what specifically is well, too quiet? I guess it was narration and movies volume because that's what was really low. We'll check the game volume when you start. Okay. Oh, I see. Pump that up a little bit. See if that's enough. I did crank up the volume in general, just the overall volume a minute ago. So hopefully that sounds good. It was about thirty years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinking Springs. I went to a party in 1984 and dressed as a Klansman. <laughs> I moonwalked my way over to the bar. The man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. Well, but before I mouse. tell you why I want that song. Still uh, You're letting me loose? Let's turn the sensitivity down here. But yeah, the audio is still low. Audio is still low. Okay. Yeah, on the narration, you gotta pump that up. Yeah. There we go. Let's see how that is. Yeah. Funny, haha. -ha. No, Steve. The other kind of funny. <clears throat> All right, here we go. What am I doing? Skills. Oh, what do we want to do? I do like me some sharpshooting with bolt action rifles and fucking lever actions. But I do like some revolvers. I think, uh... We'll go gunslinger to start with. Concentrated longer combos, deep pockets... Uh, and reload while sprinting. That'll be useful. Okay. How are we sounding? Well, I can hear the background music. But okay. People got to do something. What do you got? Okay. I can't draw my weapons yet because we're in cringy tutorial mode. The, ah. Well, here's something to pass the time. The wail of a dying coyote says. I like that, by the way. That is a very good solution for um, too many objective markers and shit on screen. Have a button where it just shows you the objective for like half a second and then it goes away. That's fair. That's a nice compromise, personally. You heard, Pat. You need to stay here to keep an More games should do that. I knew those two morons oh, would never let me through. I had no choice. What the hell? Shoot that, that, was a, that was quite a headshot. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Ooh, nice! <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, single action, baby. I knew I had to move fast. Okay, where's did it say I had an upgrade, I think? I do believe so. No? Uh, as I was saying, the whale of a nope. dying coyote says, Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you how happy I am to be starting a new job in Seoul next week. I think it'll be a great I want to know about move. bears and rabbits. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> we did, how did we not get that on the last stream? I don't know. How did nobody get that notification on the last stream? I left it in just because no one got it last time. <laughs> There's a bunch of new notifications that none of you have fucking heard. <laughs> but anyways. Um, I'm sorry, Coyote, your joke. Yeah, yeah, murdered. fucking Batman stepped on your joke. I'm sorry, bro. It'll be a great Korea move. Right. <laughs> Garrett and his army of deputies have surrounded the entire homestead. Oops, wrong button. There we are. All right, there we go. No levity. Neither of us drink fermented tea drink. Ferment fermented tea drink? Yeah, Taryn Gell prefers low tea drink. Ah. I decided to help Billy and the boys out. Whoa. So that's just what I did. Okay. 
Concentration! Now this is a little ganked for- actually, no it's not, because this was in the first Call of Juarez. It's not stolen from Red Dead. Oh, come on. I could have gotten him. Ooh, right in the back! It's a good little game, guys. It's not like it doesn't reinvent the wheel. New Mexico was paying for the kids' apprehension. Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. Whoa! Oh, come on. Ooh, nice one. Ooh, come on. Oh yeah, one more. Listen to those classic gun sounds. Oh yeah. Come on, bitch. Prick your little head up. What's the... Oh, I thought that was a headshot. Come on, bitch. Got him. All right. Oh, there's one left. Where is he? I can hear him. What else we have here? Oh! Garrett's men were running around like a bunch of shit, shit, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Headshot. I've gotten a few! Surprised. I don't remember having this good of aim the first time I played it. <laughs> Is that a. Where's an exploding red barrel when you need one? In a worse game. Yeah, that's true. No, there's some exploding red barrels in this. Ah. There's quite a bit. Damn it. Soundtrack for these games is great, by the way. It must be said. Got it. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Come on. What? Is he bl Did he just dead eye me with a blind fire? Did you see that shit? He's magical. One of them reached the water now. What? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Not a bad idea. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. Okay, gotcha. Oh, I forgot about that. Bullet time in this. Now that's some bullshit right there. This motherfucker is blind firing me and hitting me. Fucking cheating bastard. What do we got? Where's some... Anybody leave any guns laying around? There we are. Ammo. Fucking ammo. Ooh, boy. Here we go. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. Can you actually shoot the water tower? Sh shoot it? Why would I want to shoot the water tower? Does it like explode or something? Right position is very important. Personally, I prefer to be on top. I see what you did there. <laughs> Indeed, darling. But where was I? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A lot of them were saddle tramps. Oh yeah. Or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. Nope. Damn, just this. Come on, bitch. See how these work. Can I just jump down? Yeah, there's straw there. Where is he? Oh, we have exploding red barrels. Okay. You, you can go right ahead and ask some questions while I do this. Yeah, I'm just... Uh Checking the stream, making sure everything's going smooth. 
Let's see here. Crusader Wanda Saracen Combos. says, between Spartacus, Chief Shitting Bull, <laughs> Crazy Kamala, Creepy Joe <laughs> Biden, the Democrats have a real roster of yeah, champions. Yeah, creepiness is the forth. least. Can I just say this? Creepiness is the least of Joe Biden's problems. Motherfucker, like, how short are your people's memory? I have see, Every time I see someone who's like, man, if Joe Biden ran, he would just lay waste to the entire field. I'm just like, what? What? Where? <laughs> what earth? What earth have you been living on? This guy's like a one-man gaff generator during the Obama administration. Like, he was the Dan Quayle of the Obama administration. Every time he opened his gap, he said something incredibly stupid. And it got to the point where, like, Obama just put him in a closet. <laughs> you know, he was he was kind of like Barney Fife. You know, Andy gives him that one bullet for the breast pocket and hopes he doesn't hurt himself. You know, it's kind of like that. Obama had him on one short-ass leash. Who boy, 2020 is gonna be a hoot. <laughs> it really, it's gonna, or is it gonna be a hoot or a hoot nanny? Hoot nanny. Ho down. Hoot nanny. I, I like these guns. I like these guns a lot. General Gentile Genitals says, How am I carrying 110 I rounds of revolver ammunition? <laughs> I'm like the... I can hear him. Uh, yeah, there we Gentile go. Genitals says, How are you guys, Goyam? Yet but are they just made the ones that were left twice as mad. Man, you guys gotta fix your autocorrect or something. Are you guys circumcised like God's chosen? <laughs> what the f Sam <laughs> Elliott has a better mustache than Tom Whoa. Selleck. Whoa. Don't at me. Like, you're not wrong. Mayor search proof Sam Elliott is the man. May your search prove taintful. I mean, fruitful. Oh, there we go. There we go. God damn it. Come on. There we go. With a seemingly endless supply of ammo. <laughs> I know the feeling. Chris Falcone says, There we are. You only make fun of Movie Bob because you're jealous. The back of, the house. <laughs> of, of what? His mass? <laughs> It's certainly not a subscriber count. <laughs> this guy's featured on like a major website. He, uh, the website he used to work for was affiliated with Howard Stern and they shilled him on the Howard Stern blog a bunch of times and whatever. And the guy has less subscribers. Like, <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I mean, at that point, do you not just, you know, wrap your mouth around a tailpipe and rev the fucking engine? Like, is that... Well, I'm jealous of how many moons he has orbiting him. <laughs> you, you've got one at best. Ugh. Super Ultra you know? Hyper a EX like Plus that. Alpha oh, says... None the worse for wear. Tennessee. No the cucks in Senate. Days. Not even Taylor Swift yeah, can elect a Democrat right. there. It's true. Practically no state income tax. We're like Arizona in the oh, Goldwater hold days. On, hold on. That is definitely not what Billy the Kid looked like. Have you ever seen a picture of Billy the Kid? Billy yeah. Looked at me and said, he was ugly. Oh, man. Grab a gun and get to the window. Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we Ooh, were riffle. By dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. All right, what do we got here? Ooh. He up there? Where are these guys at? Oh, just moved his head. Come on, bitch. Anyway. We're like Arizona in the Goldwater days, and we have Kane as a mayor. Tennessee? I don't know. You got a lot of Democrats in power over there, too. It seems that dissing a atheist on Twitter produces autism square. Oh, it sure does. Oh, well, dead podcast walking. Ooh. 
That's when Charlie got hit. Who? They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side. Gotcha. Woo! Woo! Ah, Jesus! Oh, that's where he is. That'll do it. Get some ammo. Ah, oh, just missed. You motherfucker! Oh, shit. Just stand there like Wyatt fucking Earp. <laughs> Irish Jewish Boyo Goyo says A child and a priest walk into the forest together. The child says, Boy, these woods are scary. The priest says, You think you're scared? I have to walk out of here alone. <laughs> <laughs> Top three skullets. Kronos had better be in there. Oh man, Kronos has got to be in there. Although I, I still don't think he quite qualifies as a skullet yet. He's just on the borderline. I mean, it, he's definitely driving hard to the hoop, but. It was pretty clear, even to Billy. Whoa! It was the better part of it. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. What? Get the horses and bring them around back. I'll draw their attention. They got a fucking what? He directed that order at me. And I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? Are you fucking kidding me with this bullshit? But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack is just joshing with you now. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Gray, what? He using an outhouse door? Please call me yeah. Silas, ma'am. <laughs> now, uh, where was I? You were heading for the barn. Defcon says you're relo reloading a side gate Winchester like it's a pump action shotgun. Ooh, there we go. Is that true? Ooh, just missed. Just one last one. There we go. But who else were in your top three skulls? Devin Townsend. Paul Heyman. Like <laughs> Holy shit, Heimann. Paul Heyman. Uh, of course, Hulk Hogan is the ultimate. Yeah. Everyone knows Hulk Hogan is the ultimate. Jesse Ventura. Yeah. And just when I thought I was done with them, more of these half bastards would run. Motherfucker. What? How did that not kill him? Fucking explosion. Five feet from him. Of course, I could say the same thing about myself. I had the stables within my reach. <laughs> After the five, I got bonus points for killing the chicken. chicken. <laughs> and that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. <laughs> yeah, you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard. And that's what I met, Ann Coulter. <clears throat> She was whining about the wall not being built, even though the very beginnings of the wall were already built. Now this, I fucking suck at the duels in this game. I, I still don't really have the hang of it, so give me a, give me a minute here to catch my bearings if I can figure it out. It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. They, they fucked with the, uh, they fucked with the duels like they changed how the system works and it's really funky. You have to like keep the cursor on them while they move and then you can move at the same time. It's kind of, I don't know, not as bad as Red Dead 2, but not 
much worse. I don't, well, not much better. Okay, when he reaches for his gun... And that... Okay, so you tap that twice. Okay. Okay! Nice. That worked! I take <laughs> that, that back. That Penny Dreadful says? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. Ah! Oh, damn chicken. My revenge is foiled. I stepped inside, and bam! No! <gasps> Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on. How did it end? End? Boy, that was just the beginning. All right. Stealth Creation says, Will Gab or Mines pick up with spring summer traffic? I, well, now that Gab has dealt with that fucking bot problem, and here's the problem, Twitter, hmm, did you see Jack Dorsey's gonna be on Joe Rogan again? Uh, I saw that he was on the first time, I didn't realize he was gonna go on for a second time. He's agreed to go back, and apparently the second time, Joe Rogan is gonna, t he's taking direct questions from people who were banned on Twitter by Jack Dorsey. Ooh. And I have a feeling if that goes really badly for Jack Dorsey, you're pro which it probably will, <laughs> uh, you're probably going to see a bit of an exodus. Not necessarily on a huge level, but enough people are going to leave that sites like Gab and Mines are definitely going to see an influx of users. So in that sense, yeah, I think it has less to do with spring traffic, though, and more to do with uh, Jack being a soy suck cuck. Dustin Fast Eaton. revolver reload. Dustin Eaton says, Who causes Pelosi to stroke out first? Trump or OC? Or who? I mean, I guess... Cortez. Oh, Ocasio-Chavez? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. At this point, what is she, like 90? I, mean, I don't know, a strobe light. Like any, literally anything. A low-flying traffic copper could cause this woman to stroke out at this point. I mean, it, it, hell, have you seen her press conferences recently? A mere question is causing this woman to stroke out. And Crusader Saracen says, won't what? be able to catch the oh, stream, what? gents. Grave shift and all that jazz. Just wanted to thank uh, Razor and God Emperor Terran so for Did all the great content you? and keep yeah. on rocking. After I came to bastard had clocked me with his coat. So you're... So you died of brain damage. Have any idea how much it hurts to be pistol whipped? And the kid surrendered? When he realized there was no getting out of there alive. So they locked you up in Lincoln? Indeed they did. Sentenced me to hang right along with the kid. Yeah, that really looks like Derek Robertson art the more I look at it. Alua Ak I mean, Deus Volt. <laughs> you know, I almost played Assassin's Creed 1 here, so <laughs> you were almost right. And Mendoza! <laughs> oh, come on. Quit talking crazy. Boom Hour Suicide Hotline. Suicide Hotline. Man, kill yourself. <laughs> What's up, Terran Goy and Oy Vey Zorfist? <laughs> what are you talking about? Terran, I want to put my wiener inside your urethra. <laughs> I hate to play the narrow urethra card. Global warming. Before that, it was global cooling. I miss the days when it was just God's wrath on homosexuals. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody dig up Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Is Goro worshipped as a Hindu god? Goro? <laughs> yes. 
Yes. Him and the, uh, what was the shitty clone of Spider-Man that had six arms? Remember that? Oh, shit, I during can't the, During the, the god-awful clone, clone saga? Yeah. yeah, I forget what the, what the name of that one was. God. There were like 50 billion Spider-Mans. Poor Ben. Uh, fucking Scarlet, Scarlet Spider. Spider yeah. Has that was been the... killed thirty nine times. Far and away, I was that was the outfit I played the most with in the Spider Man uh, PS4 game, which we need to play at some point. Forgive me, twenty nine times. It's Six gorillion times. Oh boy. Overseer USA he says. Was John Kinney's gang, and they were sworn enemies of Billy's regulators. Why were you after him? I owed that son of a bitch a bullet for what he had done to me and mine. Instead, all I got for myself was a goddamn death sentence. Oh. Sorry, I don't want to talk Luckily, over the story. It was right around then that I heard Billy make his move. He shot Jim Bell and a few other guards as he made his getaway. Later, they wrote that some lady friend planted a pistol for him in the privy. That's the shitter. What the papers didn't say is that Billy helped me escape, too. Go ahead and finish your question. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, I was just waiting. Before we start here. I've always loved MJ's music and never got to put too much thought into the allegations against him. Well, put but your more videos have already made me think that maybe he's innocent after all. Keep yeah. up all the good work. I, I appreciate it. You know, I, I don't even make those for myself they always get demonetized because they are uh they involve you know horrible al illegal allegations and shit so automatically they're too racy for advertisers um so it's it's all about trying to help clear michael jackson's name and and present another side of the argument other than guys you know something's wrong when fucking mainstream media outlets like NBC News and ABC and CBS and even Fox are unironically linking to an article from The Sun. A fucking tabloid. Like, this is the fucking publication that talked about how Elvis was spotted in goddamn... You know what I mean? Like, they report on the fucking Elvis sightings and shit and the, the alien autopsy. Th this is the site that people are unironically linking to when they're talking about the new ne leaving neverland documentary and you know did you see this last week the new one the new fucking allegations about michael it's not even new allegations they're literally just pulling things out of their ass but they dropped this thing about um suddenly there's dozens of new accusers they don't name any of them they don't link to an article where they came out and it seems really odd that there would suddenly be dozens more accusers and they didn't have a press conference. Like, wouldn't Gloria Allred be, be on that like Jim Sterling on a ballpark Frank? Like, wouldn't she? Is there a single press conference about molesters and Michael Jackson and shit that she's not involved in? So what the fuck? Where, who are these dozens and more accusers? Where'd they come from? They haven't made a single statement. I haven't seen a single video with them talking. It's almost like they pulled these people out of their ass. And Dozens, you say? Yeah, I'm like, who? <laughs> who? Ooh, who? You brought too, too many. <laughs> but yeah, let's like, at some point you have to question yourself. Yeah. When did he have time for dozens of kids? <laughs> well, not only that, but the the new allegation. Oh, this is absurd. And I, I, I don't mean to break up the gameplay here. I'll jump back in in a second. But the, the allegation, the part of the thing where they were talking about how there's dozens more accusers. The new story The Sun put out. Or no, it was the uh, Radar Online. Oh, which is also a tabloid. They're such a tabloid, they're not even fucking verified on Twitter. Um... So they came out with an article that not only said there's dozens of new accusers, didn't name any of them, didn't show any footage of a press conference where they came out. They just, magically, there's dozens more accusers. And they said authorities, quote unquote, are considering exhuming Michael Jackson's corpse because they think he might have molested kids and they're going to check DNA. And it's like, what the f if you think about this story for five seconds, you realize what a bunch of bullshit it is. Because it's like, number one is, it's been 10 years. Like, what? 
What kid DNA is going to be left on Michael Jackson? Never mind that after the 2005 trial, understandably, Michael Jackson didn't go near a kid that wasn't his own. You know what I mean? Like, he ran off to the Middle East and a prince in fucking, uh, I forget what country that was. Was it Dubai? I forget where it was. But he ran off to the Middle East because he was broke. He was flat fucking broke. And he was sick of being hounded by the media. So he ran off to the Middle East and this prince put him up and the agreement was, uh, I'll, you'll work on new music and I'll just pay for your room and board and everything. And... We should be. It looks like we are. Okay, it's weird. I got cut off. Oh, sorry about that. I don't know why it said it. It's it cut off, but uh, we're we're live. Are we good? Everybody, everybody, all right? <laughs> if uh, I guess tell people to reload in the stream. Yeah. Okay. No, we should be good. Okay. Good. Temporary malfunction. But anyway, continue. I don't know what the fuck that was about. But anyways, um, as, as I was saying, uh, after the after the 2005 trial, Michael Jackson was flat fucking broke because Sony had been putting... I, I, I talked about this in my Michael Jackson mythos. Sony had been putting pressure on him for a long time. His last album had been the most expensive album ever made. He hadn't toured in over a decade which is how most artists make their money now. And, of course, uh, CDs and shit weren't selling anymore. So, you know, th there's a lot of reasons why he was broke, plus having to pay his legal bills and shit. So, Michael Jackson ran off to the fucking Middle East, and there was, like, a prince who was paying for his room and board and paying for everything, basically. And the idea was, you know, you can just hide away here, away from the fucking media, and uh, as long as you record a new album or write new music, it's good. That was the whole fucking idea behind the arrangement. So the idea that he that he would have been exhumed suggests that he would have ha he would have had to have fucked a kid in t like 2007, 2008, which makes no sense. He wasn't even around kids after the fucking trial because he wasn't insane. You know what I mean? Like you go to court for for allegations like that. Chances are you're not even going to be in the same room as a kid that isn't yours. Fuck, you're, you're going to be hardly pictured with your own goddamn kids at that point. You know what I mean? So right off the bat, it makes no sense. Plus, if you, it sounds like somebody who watched CSI too many times, you know, came up with a, a fucking story, basically. Um, let me go ahead and switch over to the game and see if it's actually capturing, if you can uh, check that for me. Sure. Sorry about uh, getting dropped there. YouTube servers are uh, rocking and rolling. Mm, we're good. Is it good? Yeah, we're good. You can see the game? Yeah, it's moving. Okay, sweet. Nuggets of truth. Oh, yeah, you get little history lessons in here, which is pretty neat. LGBT BLT says, <laughs> Congratulations on dating a Latina. They seem to be the only race left with birth-giving hips. That di disqualifies Alexandria. Ooh. What kind of animal has five legs? Mm, I don't know. Where's this going? A pit bull returning from a playground. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's escape. My first order of business was finding a firearm. Yes, sir. <laughs> I like the way you think, sir. My first order of business was my Second Amendment rights. Located Deputy Bob Ollinger's mean ass shotgun. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, hi there. 
That's pretty. A oh, Whitney. I saw Billy through the window, and he yelled that I should take to the rooftops to make my escape. So I did. Anybody see Billy? Whoa! Hell yeah. That scatter gun was like a double barreled howitzer. <laughs> blow a man clear off the screen. Yes! The kids escaped, raised a huge ruckus. Guards were everywhere. Maybe to turn down the sensitivity a little more. 13th King says, This is one of my favorite games. It's a great little game, guys. It's not like. Does it, like I said, it doesn't reinvent the wheel, but as a Western shooter, it's a fuck of a lot of fun. It's, it's, same thing goes for Call of Juarez 1 and 2. I mean, they're both really good. The way they tell it like a tall tale is awesome. Yep. And I love the gameplay. Have fun. Thank you, sir. And Techland did a great job with this. It's a shame they're they're all wrapped up in dying light now, because... Yeah. I forget what else they made that got put on hold because they're too busy with dying light. Whoa, what's everything? Yeah, everything. I can't hit him from there. Do I have? Aha! Debonair nerd says, "Why is there a perpetual crusade against Jackson? Who profits? It can't be to sell records. Meanwhile, can this really be considered?" Newsworthy? Lots of people profit. Number one, tabloids profit, the media profits. I'll, I'll never forget, um, if you watch, there's a excellent sort of press conference that was held called, uh, shit, what is it called? I think it might actually be, oh, Frozen in Time, the Michael Jackson case. It was hosted at a law school, I believe. And in it, the lawyers from the prosecution and from the defense of Michael Jackson kind of debated. They offered sort of speeches that were sort of in counterpoint. So Tom Mesereau, Michael Jackson's defense attorney, got to defend Michael Jackson. Mind you, this was quite a while after the case. So Tom Mesereau, all these years later, still says that Michael Jackson was innocent, even though he's not being paid by Michael Jackson anymore. And the prosecuting attorney uh, offered his side of the case as well. And here's what's even more interesting. They got the the lawyers from 1993 from that case, the one that was settled, or the civil case was settled. The criminal case was actually thrown out, which nobody talks about. But um, the lawyers for the prosecution and defense from that, from that case actually speak as well. And... Uh, I'll never forget Tom Mesereau says in that, he says, I was told afterward by Barry Gordy, the, the head of, of Motown, of Motown Records, that you, like he had been told by people in the media that Tom Mesereau had cost them billions of dollars. Because if you think about it, the money was not in an acquittal. The money was in a conviction. Think about it. If Michael Jackson gets convicted, well, now you get you not only get all the ratings that you had up until that point with the Nancy Grace bullshit every fucking night calling him a kitty molester, but you get the sentencing, which they're going to air. You get, you know, any of the appeals. You get nightly coverage of what's happening to him in prison. I mean, that's where all the money is, motherfuckers. It, the money is not in him getting acquitted on 14 counts, including four misdemeanors, which they weren't even able to established that he uh, endangered a child, nevertheless touched one, uh, and then he just vanishes into the night. Like, there's no money in that. All the money is in a conviction. So beyond that, plus you talk about Sony wanting to acquire the record, uh, the, the actual catalog of the Beatles and, the, and Elvis, which they ultimately did. I mean, that's, that's really where the money's at. Let's stabilize my aim, but yeah, I can. Come on, you can. Ah! Uh. See if I can. Can I do a single? Can I do a single? Yes, yes, I can. Oh, 
Oh, just missed. Eh, whatever. Where do I need to go? You can use a rifle? Oh, dear. Inward, inward. Says. <laughs> What's the difference between cancer and black people? Oh, my God. Cancer got jobs. Oh, come on! Steve Jobs. <laughs> Inappropriate. <laughs> of the four guys from To Catch a Predator who got off, no pun intended, three were from Florida and one was from California. Enough said. Yeah, and one is the head of RF Video, who films all of the fucking wrestling shoots that everybody traffics. All over fucking YouTube. Oh, and he was involved in Ring of Honor, too. So your lovely marks have uh, helped uh, fund a pedophile, which is wonderful. Fucking so Rob Feinstein. You were after. What did he do? He did me and my family a grievous harm. But I knew if I was ever going to find him, I would need to get my ever-loving ass out of there. Whoa, what the fuck just I happened? I to be stealthy to <laughs> sneak my way past. This town doesn't have a moment's faith. Oh, there we go. Oh, much needed ammunition. I needed that. Dean Thomas says, uh, thoughts on YouTube considering removing the dislike button after their year-in video became the most disliked video on I YouTube. I mean, the reason for it is fucking retarded. I will say, like, I don't really give a sh Does the dislike button even do anything? Be honest. Have you ever seen like a thumb rating go down because you kept hitting dislike? But hell, if they weren't always. I, I mean, on comments, mind you, not on not on videos. I don't um, know. I, and I also strongly suspect that YouTube has already been cleaning up, shall we say, curating like and dislike ratios. Like, I can't be the only one who's noticed that. There was um, what was the video? Oh, the Gillette video. Did you know? Did you guys notice this? The fucking Gillette video was at, let's say it was at two thousand dislikes. I went back like an hour later and looked, and fucking nine hundred of those dislikes had just spontaneously disappeared. Like that kept happening on that fucking Gillette video. I think YouTube curates the dislikes Apparently, to a large extent already. <laughs> Whoa! Got him. Oh, shotgun. Yeah! To my knowledge, uh, the like button, the only thing that does is uh, affect what's in the recommendations. Yeah, I think so. It really does nothing. So, like, I'm not, I'm actually not that up in arms about it, but the reason why they're doing it is, is fucking stupid. Woo! Okay, what do we got here? Matt Collins donates $50. Thank you very much, sir. That's extremely generous. Headshot with a with a fucking shotgun. Thank you, sir. When Trump said that Ameri American American ah! uh, when Trump said that Americans would never be a or America would never be a socialist country and the camera turned to Bernie Sanders the look oh, on only, his face only, was priceless. Only on the C-SPAN broadcast, though. Made me laugh my ass off. It did. It did. It's funny, like, certain... Godspeed, yes. Certain streams of that speech um, looked at Bernie and uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Chavez a fucking bunch, but other ones completely well, ignored them. Have a great fondness for those four-legged grass eaters. I noticed that when I was editing my video. We prize them too high, ask me. But uh, thank you again. That's uh, incredibly generous. Ooh! Mis Shotgun to shit and blown up at the same time. How about that? Mysterious Senior Hilter says. I've been playing Stellaris lately. I hear lately. Mysterious Senior Hilter is a big fan of Dogs. Dogs. <laughs> 
I've been playing Stellaris lately. You should check it out Whoa. if you're a if you like 4X style games. Sweet. And I managed to get stomped by mollusk faced super aliens in their near genocidal war in heaven. Well, shit. <laughs> way through the town. What do we got here? Come on. Got a ladder. Liberty Prime says America will never be a socialist country. What do you call it when the 19th century German psychologist steps on a banana peel? Where was the kid while you were busy getting shot at? Uh... Gone. A Freudian slip. Very good. You got it right. <laughs> oh, do we have different? Oh, oh. Do I want to exchange for the rifle? Do I? I like this shotgun, but I am a rifleman. I'm sorry, shotgun fans. I have to go rifle. Simon Steven would like to know what your favorite song by Saxon is. Probably Dallas 1 p.m. Uh, it's hard for me considering that Wheels of Steel 1980 has practically no filler. What? Oh, is this a quick time event? I'm not a big so fan I of that. Be a hapless decoy and draw attention while he snuck out of town. Whoa, 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 stop that. There we go. Oh, hi. Oh, come on. That was right through the eye of the needle. I knew if I made it out of there in one piece, no one would put a price on my head. Oh, it's a big because old boy. Everybody in Lincoln would be dead? No. They all thought I was Billy. Got him. And all that blame would fall on him. Meanwhile, Deputy Bob Ollinger was organizing a posse to put me down. He was already a mean son of a bitch, but he was doubly pissed that I stole his mean ass shotgun. <laughs> anyway, it was me or them, and the only way forward led me straight to perdition. But the cards were dealt, Whoa, and I had no fuck? choice but to play them. Get Overture says, Favorite Genesis song and or album from the respective eras, Gabriel and Collins. I really like, uh, let's see here, uh, for the Gabriel era, <sighs> shit, you know, I'm not normally a big frog guy, but I really think right at the tail end of the Gabriel era, they got really good. I would probably have to go The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway for the Gabriel era. And I'd probably go for the Collins era. I really liked this sort of synth poppy kind of atmospheric stuff. Yeah, this is going to sound really cliche, but I really like uh, Mama. Uh, didn't they put that in GTA? I think they did. GTA 4. What was it? Mama. Right, the Genesis. Mama. Yeah, 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 yeah. They fucking they put that in there. Anyways, th I thought that was pretty cool. That was like the only really good song in that, except for Black Sabbath, Heaven and Hell. And I think that was uh, San Andreas. No, it was. I think it was GTA Four. But I really like that that whole okay. era before. I like the darker stuff that Genesis did. That was still poppy. Like with with Phil Collins, but was a little more serious lyrically, because some of the Collins stuff is just vacuous. Trago says I've been on an American history binge lately, and <laughs> what? No, no, nothing. It's like. Hold on, and I look over, you got a headshot. <laughs> Hold on while I line up this headshot. God damn it. Oh, well, there he is. What the fuck? There's more. There's always more. He's got buddies. Where'd I get shot from? Where is he at? Motherfucker, where am I getting shot from? There he is. I see his stupid little hat. This guy's got good aim. Fucking fedora. Any more fedoras? 
tip that shit at me. Milady. I think there's a guy behind that wagon. <laughs> there was. Alright. Whoa. Got him. Whoa! Wish you could lie prone. Take out their... Like, shoot them in the dicks from underneath the wagon or something. That's pretty cool. Trago says, I've been on an American Get a history ready. binge lately and finally why found what I was oh, looking damn it, more. Yeah, shut the, the fuck up, dude. Fine. Down. And I wish it would stop when you go into the pause menu. Anyways, uh, continue. Uh, Trago says, I've been on an American history binge lately and while I consider the founding fathers to be brilliant, I do wonder why slavery wasn't dealt with sooner. I mean, Jefferson called it an abomination. Well, primarily because you have to... I, I think it was mostly because of uh, the size of the the colonial population at the time. You know, when you had that few people, the landed gentry had more power. So you didn't want to upset the apple cart. Who is plus, daddy and what does he do? Plus, Jefferson was not in the majority on that, and... I mean, the thing is, like, Jefferson was super... He kind of used slavery as a talking point, to be honest. One of the many reasons I'm not a big Jefferson fan. Plus, wasn't, wasn't he fucking jungling one of his slaves at the time? <laughs> he he kind of used slavery as a talking point to sort of defame other founding fathers that he disagreed with, honestly, which is hilarious because he absolutely had slaves. Um... Which is kind of how you know it was just him using it as a, as fucking ammunition. I guess Billy oh. saved your ass, taking out Bob Ollinger the way he did. Billy didn't kill Bob. Well, sure he did. He dispatched him right after he shot Deputy Bell. No, sir. We'll Bob ah! came right up Good right. timing! Angry as hell that Billy had lit out. Hello, Bob. I said, I think you better let me go. Uh-oh. And he says... I don't think so, boy. Not with my shotgun. So we stood there in the middle of the street, eyeball to eyeball. He and Silas Greaves me, versus I Paul Heyman. No choice but to defend myself. Oh, I see. Uh, see what I mean? Ugh. Okay, fine. No, 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 no. Come on, bitch. No, come on. Got him! I killed him in a fair fight. Everybody saw I had no damn choice. Well, Lincoln got a mighty depopulated that day. <laughs> Matt Garrett gunned down Billy three months later, so his escape was all for naught anyway. And by gun down, you mean fucking assassinated the shit out of him by sneaking in. Where, where the fuck did Pat Garrett sneak in to kill Billy, Billy the Kid? Was it a fucking hotel room? Something like that, yeah. Like he fucking bushwhacked his ass. I'm black, y'all, says. <laughs> What's up, you white man? Uh, you Edomites, you blue-eyed devils. Jesus was black. Plays Farrakhan. <laughs> Why don't you dance like everyone else on Crowder's show? Dance? Dance. I have never, never danced. Is that a thing that he well, does? Does he do the Ellen well, DeGeneres thing? When he comes back from, like, breaks, they play music and they I dance I see. I would dance, but I'm Caucasian and therefore genetically incapable. Yeah. Um... <laughs> no, I actually can dance, but that's not happening. Speaking of Genesis songs. So where'd you go after Lincoln? Mexico. 
Until I realized nobody was looking for me. On account of its fucking Mexico. The Mexican Ruales? I was hired to help them track down the cowboys. The most vicious outlaw gang in Cochise County? Curly Bill Brocious? Johnny Ringo? Led by old man Clanton himself. They must have paid you a pretty penny to take them on, Brazon. Not really. But truth be told, I had my own reasons for going after those boys. Chuck. Well, we're now in Arizona, apparently. Yeah. Chuck Bandy says, John Tyler, you mad cat, where are you going with that shotgun? <laughs> oh, you chunk of old coal. Ethan Long asks, <gasps> I'm not a big fan of this mission, if I remember correctly. Favorite Western and why? Favorite Western is definitely The Great Silence. Uh, I love it because it's... Kind of atypical. It's <clears throat> well, no, that would be my favorite spaghetti western. My favorite western in general is Deadwood, right? Deadwood's not really a movie, but it's the best western ever made. Uh, but The Great Silence would be my favorite sort of movie western, uh, especially spaghetti western. And it's, uh, I dig it because number one, you get that amazing Ennio Morricone soundtrack, but it's really atypical in a number of ways. Um, it's shot in the fucking snow, for one thing, which was not typical of the period. And it was a pain in the ass to film for that reason. And it's um, sort of told in, like, parallel story arcs where you sort of follow the good guy and the bad guy at the same time. And, of course, the ending was completely atypical and created. It essentially established uh, a Western archetype for an ending actually it was really unusual at the time but if you played red dead redemption if you played red dead redemption 2 <laughs> you know, if you played uh no if you if you've watched a lot of modern westerns like uh, i don't know fucking uh unforgiven you know it's absolutely influenced a whole school of thought in westerns so that like westerns didn't have to have happy endings and honestly in modern revisionist westerns it's almost more common for a western to not have a happy ending now and and that all starts with the great silence um i'm not crazy about how sergio corbucci executed the ending i think he was really preachy and it kind of landed with a thud personally but I like the idea of it. So was the bastard you were after now riding with the cowboys? Roscoe Bob Bryant was his name. Oh. But no, this time it was a different bastard I was after. The aforementioned Mr. Ringo. Why, Johnny yes, Ringo. he was working for old man Clown. You look like someone just walked over your grave. Rui Vasquez says, Razor, you hipster you fuck. Doing? When are you going to review Gun and tell everyone that it was Red Dead Redemption before Red Dead Redemption? I came upon them robbing a stagecoach. It was. It surprising I mean, I... They were such <laughs> murderous thieves and bastards. The bandits wore red scarves, so I knew they worked for the old man. Over there! there! Whoa! Uh, Fuck you. I did my best to help those poor passengers. The other thing is, fucking Gun was a huge hit. When it came out, like, people try to act like it's like, people only talk about gun because it was X, Y, and Z, and hipster, and contrarian, and -ber -der -ber -der -ber -der. all these are wildly original words that I got from the one 4chan thread I read in my fucking life. But the truth is, gun was a massive success. It, it sold millions and millions and millions of copies before Red Dead Redemption came out, and honestly, probably signaled to Rockstar that there was an unserved market there. Uh, that was, you know, the success of gun led to Call of Juarez, which was also successful, which led to Red Dead Redemption. So, And a lot of that starts with Deadwood, honestly. 
Moments later, the attackers were dead. And I checked the stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing. <laughs> None. None. Yeah. It was then I wondered if the rocks were in hiding more bandits. Was that all of them? Or did I just hit the rear guard? I quickly got my answer. They attacked from on high like Apaches often do. What? Oh my! Elizabeth Warren! They would appear in great numbers from above and rain down lead on their helpless enemies' heads. Making use of the high ground and whatever else they want. This is only one 1,024th of an ambush? Yeah. Out of nowhere, and never Holy to be shit! Get him! Get were you attacked by Apaches? What happened to the Cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Clanton's Cowboys attacked me Apache style. I was in a Just where they donkey punch you. I was holding my own against an overwhelming enemy force. Oh, sweet. No. Oh, there we go. Brazier says, nuke the EU. Green, but off <laughs> okay. Oh, I just missed. Ah, oh, damn it. I could see up in those Where are they running? I didn't see Ringo. Motherless whore. He and Roscoe Bob had done me a dreadful wrong. And I was determined to have my revenge. And they got good aim in this game. <laughs> they did not train at the Stormtrooper Academy, these guys. Daisy Ridley's acting talent donates 10 and says, What's up, bros? Really enjoyed you pissing off the drug peasants fanboys. Oh, Godspeed. Fucking shit. Perfect example of my relative inexperience as a hunter of men. Holy shit. All right. What are you out of ammo? Ooh, legendary weapon. So we got an engraved Ranger revolver. What do we get if we? Ooh, ivory handled quick shooter. We get. I assume that's a double action. I immediately knew that a tactical retreat was called for, as my vengeful fury was much less impressive without the bullets to back it up. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where? They managed to corner me. Trapped as I was, the odds of my survival seemed pretty slim. Motherfucker! Serendipity was on my side as I suddenly spotted a way out of my predicament. Get the fuck out of here! I ran ahead as if the devil himself was after me. Bullets were whizzing by my ears, but I wasn't about to roll over and die. I just kept running like there was no tomorrow. Because there wouldn't be if Clanton and his men caught up with me. Uh, As uh, I was scurrying around those caves, I thought, what was I thinking? Going up against a gang like this. Ow! So my fucking shins are liquid now. I just, just running, not knowing where the hell I was going. And that's when something miraculous happened. What? Like mana from heaven, I found the desiccated remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. The old weapon next to him supplied me with some much-needed ammunition. Nice. Bat Masterson once told me it was more important to be lucky than good, and he would know. Okay. Thank you for that. And imagine my surprise when Ooh. I found this dynamite to go along with that ammo. There we are. That stroke of good fortune evened the odds and bolstered my confidence. It was time to turn the tables. Time for the prey to become the predator. Time for the hunted to become the hunter. Time, Time for me to miss four shots in a row. They were right where you wanted them. That's right, Jack. I was done running. I think I just the killed one of the guys from ZZ Top. That. No, sir. I came at them like a wildcat. 
my fury knew no bounds. Whoa! Yeah. Jesus. There we go. Ah, where the fuck am I getting shot from? Ace and Justin says, Razor, you live in Arizona. Do Apaches normally T pose into the ground? <laughs> Sometimes. Depends on whether or not they got their casino check that month. I yelled out at the top of my lungs. Planton, I'm coming for you. Oh. Stealth might have made more sense, to be perfectly honest. You're beginning to irritate me. Because that old <laughs> fool had a gallon gun and enough bullets to last him till kingdom come. But I knew I could not let that deter me. Not if I was to find and kill Ringo. Yikes! He doesn't take long to reload, boy. All right, let's try that again. But I knew I you can ask a question here, dude. Me. Hazel Motes says, just picked up Decision not at Thunder Rift per your recommendation. Fuck yeah, man. For dirt cheap on Kindle. Yeah, they're I not hard to, to find. Also, glad to hear my first Redwall book named one of your personal faves. Uh, faves. Which Salaman one is that? Uh, Salamandistrun. It's a really good one. It's a very, very good one. Looking forward to reading them both. Cheers and Godspeed. God damn it. Got hung up on the terrain there. James Bercy says, is there Herbert Moon DLC for this game? <laughs> no, but there should be. There should be Herbert Moon DLC for life. Whoa, that's where he is. Also, AOC face teeth, merely on the Coulter Equestrian Scale or Final Evolution of the Democratic Donkey? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What's this? Most everyone thought it was the Ruales who had come up against him in Guadalupe Canyon, but it was just me. Whoa. Okay, good shit. I prefer one revolver personally, but where's the, there we go. That's better. A little more accurate. My life is a complex pastiche donated 25. Thank you very much, sir. A doctor, a nurse, and an anti-vaxxer went to a bar. The doctor orders a shot of whiskey and the nurse orders a shot of tequila. The anti-vaxxer then tells the bartender, I don't do shots. She then falls over and dies of polio. <laughs> the end. Isn't Jim Carrey a loony anti-vaxxer? Possibly? No one messes with Adam Wee. Donates twenty dollars. Thank you. What's the, ah, there we go. Hey I'm gonna guys. blow his ass up. Hey guys, did you know X gonna give it to you? That certainly isn't getting old. No, not at all. I for one love seeing twenty vids with the, that title flood, flooding my recommendation section. It's and a good thing I was totally wrong when I said Mr. X completely distracts from the game itself. And as we all know, X is the only boss in Resident Evil 2. Birkin, damn who's it. that? <laughs> oh, he must be standing on a cliff. God damn it, my fucking dynamite keeps going over his head. Yeah, Birkin looks great in that game. Like, Dude, fucking X is the last boss in the in the Leon campaign. In the Leon A. Fuck is that bullshit? The fuck is that bullshit? What no, hold on, dude. Did you seriously just excuse that by saying in Leon A? The main boss is not the main boss in fucking campaign A. Think about that for a minute. No, I don't. I don't. Birkin know. is not the main boss in camp. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. 
Who who had like a 15 foot erection for Mr. X that was developing that game? Whoa. Whoa! Now he's lobbing dynamite? I just feel like he, he distracts from the game itself. Whoa. Okay. Let's try now. Try to throw it in front of him. If I can. Got him! Did I get him? A little higher, maybe? No! There we go. Gotta arc it. Ooh! And finish him with a headshot. Nice. And told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. <laughs> they just assumed it was one of the Earths. It was cultural and enrichment. And misunderstanding eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the Old K Corral. This guy seems to be involved in every major historical event of the Old West. Amazing! It's kind of like fucking Connor from Assassin's Creed 3. Dustin fucking Eaton says... Between State of the Union, uh, AOC's Green Nightmare, oh, God. and the VA hot mess, this week cemented the fact that the Dems are screwed come 2020. There, you know, I, I've said since 2016 that the media going after Trump was distracting a lot of people from how utterly fucked the Democrats are in terms of their disunity. I mean, I can see there are a lot of people who are suggesting Pelosi set uh, Ocasio Chavez up with that fucking. Apparently, the rumor is that the plan, the fucking Green New Deal, was supposedly just a sort of a preliminary draft that wasn't actually finished, and she was sort it was sort of handed off to her, and she decided to fucking run Who with is it. Your daddy? And, what does he do? and so a lot of people are sort of speculating that maybe Pelosi undermined her. I, personally, I do get the feeling Pelosi is a little bit threatened by by Miss Ocasio-Cortez. Don't you get that feeling? A, Just little, a little bit. bit. And it's it really does not make sense. I mean, what the fuck is Pelosi going to do? <laughs> well, it's, look, Pelosi was pushing to be the head of the, the, the Speaker of the House, even though she ran... She was a huge part of what ran the party into the ground in fucking 2016. Uh, you know, clearly there are some egos and politics at play here. And speaking of which, yes, sir. Evan Rose asks, what are your thoughts on the Green New Deal? <laughs> I said on Twitter, the main thing about it that makes me laugh beyond all the ridiculous ideas like fucking banning air travel <laughs> uh, the thing Did that, you say that? Yes! Oh yes! my god. The thing that launches my nuts to Neptune is uh, the fact that they're calling it, that they would be willing to call anything a new deal after the fucking, like five separate economics departments, including the economic department at UCLA, conservative think tank that that is have all mathematically determined that the new deal, that Roosevelt's new deal actually fucking increased the length of the Great Depression by at least five years. <laughs> like, why would you why would you want to go back to that well? Because people are just going to talk about the New Deal and that's just going to lead them to realize how revised their history education was. You, stop alley-ooping things for Trump! Stop doing it! Stop making it easy for him! God damn! Because you know that's going to be a Trump tweet. Dust up at the OK Corral. I was still after Johnny Ringo. I had tracked him and the Cowboys to their hideout. Out Iron Springs, Beach. Arizona. They were loaded for bear. So what exactly did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Well, him and Walked that other over your grave. Roscoe Bob Bright. Yep. They both deserve to die, and I promise I'll tell you why. But okay. first, I need to tell you about the Cowboys' new boss, Curly Bill Brooks. Oh, boy. Get ready, boys. Oh, I just missed him. 
Damn. Early Bill took charge of the Cowboys upon the old man's demise. And after that gunfight at the oh, OK fuck. Corral, the Clantons wanted revenge. Shut up, you dumb broad, says. <laughs> a blind girl invited me over, and she started giving me a hand job and told me it was the biggest she ever felt. I said, no. You're just pulling my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, hasn't someone used that one before on our stream? I don't think on our stream, but it is an old joke. I've heard it. Yeah, it's a very old joke. Evan Rose Careful says, with that one. That's an antique. Evan Rose says, came from They Shall Not Grow Old. It was great. Really? I still need to watch that. Yeah. No, you need to watch that new <laughs> Michael Jackson documentary. No, I don't. Where they interview the same fucking two people and call it a documentary. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. The same two people and their immediate families. So they murdered Morgan Earp and grievously wounded his older brother, Virgil. You heard that, right? What? Fucking Dan Reed, the director of the Michael Jackson documentary, he was asked why he only interviewed the two guys and their families, and he was like, well, they're the only ones that know the story. I was like, what, 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 what the fuck? You can't... You don't offer any countervailing opinions? None. Damn, I could use a rifle. Herbert Moon! Yes! Says, I'm Herbert Moon! With Stan Lee moving to Valhalla, oh. I predict there will be either... With, you, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's correct that. With Valhalla moving to Stan Lee... True, true. That is true. Why Excelsior! What became known as the Vendetta those outlaws I predict that there will be so either up, uh, other creators or was. comic journalists claiming others... To be the next Stan Lee. Oh God! I uh, yeah, you're probably right. How do you think these uh, incidents will uh will be handled? Not lightly, I hope. Nobody can replace Stan. I mean, there's never going to be another Stan Lee because the industry was a different beast when he was doing his thing. I mean, he started out kind of as a pissant at um at fucking uh, Atlas and whatnot before all that. And then he sort of reinvented the whole game. I mean, he was he was really on his way out. He kind of was thinking about leaving because he had been there a long time. Or not not at, uh, fucking Timely Comics. Sorry. Um, he was a pissant at Timely, and he was a, kind of on his way out. And there was a magazine that was about to be canceled, Amazing uh, Amazing Fantasy, I believe. And he's talking to his wife, and his wife's a big part of this. And, and he was like, you know, I'm not really fulfilled. Because at the time, like, Timely was really, I mean, their name really said it all. They really were kind of hopping on trends. They were trying to be Timely. Whenever, um, when Westerns were a trend, they jumped on that. When Romance books were a trend, they jumped on that. When Big Monster books were a trend. That's how shit like Fin Fang Foom was created, you know, Dormammu, stuff like that, right? He would literally, Stan Lee would just come up with a zany name and then they'd just create a giant monster for it because that was popular, right? But he was not creatively fulfilled by that, so he was kind of like, you know, I don't know what to do. I kind of want to leave. I've got another offer over here. And his, and his wife was like, well, you know what? If you're leaving anyway, why don't you just make one book that's like exactly what you want it to be uh, before you leave? Because what are they going to do, fire you? So he's like, why the fuck not? So uh, Spider-Man happened. Yep. That's <laughs> totally... And of course, Steve Ditko was at least half of that. But uh, I, I think Alan Moore is kind of full of shit on the whole Stan Lee had nothing to do with it and he took all the credit. and Fucking go back to worshipping a goddamn snake, fucking tree beard. Shut the fuck up. Ripping Bit off Shadow every other fucking story you do. Bitter steel. I see everything. I prefer my snake cults headed up by James Earl Jones. 
Thank you very much. <laughs> can you? Mm, I wonder if I could... I, oh, yeah, you can. Yep. Oh, no! It's gonna fall on me. Never mind. Super. Killers around every corner, Damn it. <laughs> all wearing red bandanas. That's how the cowboys the worst identify timing. each other. All wearing black block, kicking over trash cans. As if Antifa know how to operate a firearm. <laughs> I love uh, the uh, people who examine photos of groups of Antifa with their fucking guns with, like, gun <laughs> yeah. practice and everything. Like, where it's all airsoft. Airsoft guns. One guy's wearing shorts and sandals. <laughs> oh, it's great. There we are. All right, here we go. Now, this Johnny Ringo fight is not fun, if I remember correctly. Let's, let's uh, upgrade some Ranger here. Super Arrogant Bros says... What are your thoughts on how we get cucked out of the Western release of Dead or Alive Extreme 3? I can hear bag. Jim Sterling's fat mouth about it now. <laughs> I can hear his wife's boyfriend talking about it now. Uh. <laughs> My wife's son. Yeah. Which I, I think that, that, that there's a I literal thing going on faster, there. Boy. Certainly not Wyatt Earp. That man was all hat and no cap. <laughs> All right, there we go. Whoa, what the f- <laughs> Check this- <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm not complaining. I love it, you get bonus points for shooting bottles. Herb wasn't much of a match for him, but Doc Holliday might have taken him. Have Fun died. fact, Doc Holliday, uh, after the uh, gunfight at the... Shut the fuck up. Fun fact, Doc Holliday, contrary to his reputation as, like, this merciless killer, actually, after the gunfight at the uh, OK Corral, he broke down and wept, according to uh, Big Nose Kate, his woman. Not, not really a suggestion he was a big man-killer, although he did. He confirmed... He had at least one or two confirmed kills in that. So he couldn't have been too much of a slouch with a gun. Oh my! Oh my! Sawed off. With bitter steel, we could get your mom for even less. Come on. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Filipino white boy says, has there ever been a Western or metal cover? Um, oh, sorry. A Western metal music combo. Yes. We played... Um, which one was it? I think it was our first, our Red Dead Redemption 1 stream. We played a band called Desperados, with a Z, um, who started out as a, basically a Western cowboy side project of Tom Angel Ripper of Sodom. So it's kind of a thrash, Western meets country kind of a weird thing. He wound up leaving that band. He only did, I think, the first album. And then they became their own thing, and they're still awesome. Their, their new stuff is great, too. So uh, I definitely recommend them. But yes, there have been. Absolutely. And there's more than just that, too. Oh. Six shoot. I think I want a six shooter, to be perfectly honest, because that fucking sawed off is not accurate at distance. Get some ammo. Ooh! Hey, what the fuck? I had a rifle? When? Since fucking when? Okay, there we go. Eyes it of wasn't the wolf. coming up when I used the weapon wheel. That was weird. Eyes of the Wolf says, a shekel for those beautiful headshots. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, 
Good, I have to say, good rain effects. What the? F Holy ah! crap. That was sudden. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Let's try that again with less dying. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, you don't. Ooh, and that was a headshot, too. What's that, Dwight? <laughs> that was awesome. Son, take over the Cowboys. Because I Clanton was dumber than a box of rocks and a yellow belly to boot. C96 Mauser says, Mr. Fist, how much must I pay you for a Lone Wolf McQuaid review? Oh, I've wanted to do one for a while. Or that even may... some of Seagal's other movies, like Under Siege. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's an option. I've done two Seagal movies, though. So I'd probably do, uh... I'd probably do Lone Wolf McQuay. But yeah, I love Lone Wolf McQuay. That yeah, movie's awesome. Yeah, it's a fucking awesome. awesome movie. It's a great flick. Bubsy Badman says... This, this boss fight no, fucking sucks. Taking down the entire cowboy gang single-handed. Indeed I was, Jack. Uh... Bubsy Badman says, Green New Deal rant win. Also, why do you guys hate Tucson so much? Because uh, there's nothing down there. There's nothing down Oh, well, there's plenty down there. There's plenty of Californians down there. Yeah. Did I guys regale you with the tale of how I spent two weeks in Tucson and the most... The greatest thing that I did while I was there was walk down to the corner store. Because <laughs> there's nothing there. I mean, if you're looking for illegals and Democrat voters, man, run, do not walk to Tucson. Those two things are not mutually exclusive, by the way. <laughs> it's terrible, too, because you'll run into people who are, like, more conservative, who aren't bad shit. You'll run into real, like, salt-of-the-earth Arizonans, you know, who work on a ranch and, you know, use shoot revolvers on their spare time and stuff. Like, you'll run into real, like, almost cliche Arizonans out there. But they are so outnumbered by all the California transplants and shit. It's just, Tucson's a loss. It's just gone. Mexico 2 electric boogaloo. Hail Caesar. Hmm. Am I crazy or is that? And uh, the Green New Deal. I don't think that's really rant worthy. We, I mean, I we... mean, I haven't even read all of it yet. I've, I've, I've hit the, uh, the big points though already. Oh. Trago says, Where the f Ah, there he is. During my American history binge, I also learned that John Paul Jones was a spectacularly insane Navy commander. I think. I think I recognize the name, but I'm not too familiar with him. Okay. That's one thing I'm not that hot on is naval history. Military naval history, I mean. Right. Oh, I should have used that. Quite an impressive operation. Anything over here? Darth Dragon says. It's the, the one flaw in this game, and it's not really a flaw depending on how you look at it, but it's just a little linear. In terms oh, yeah. of level design. The first game was not at all. There was actually a whole sandbox overworld kind of thing going on in the first game. And uh, the second one got a, a lot more linear, and this one kind of carries that forward. All right. Uh, Darth Dragon says, hey, Razor and TG. 
Uh, you are playing an awesome game. I wish I own a uh, Schofield revolver. Did you see Fuck him? yeah. I'm about to get to that, Ben. Patience. Which Wild West revolver would you and TG wish to own? God fucking speed. Which I'm Wild West revolver? It was this beautiful Let this water asshole run his mouth a crystal again. Crystal clear stream that led to a verdant valley that was truly. Shut the fuck up. Um, Old West revolver. You know, Schofield would be up there. I love top breaks. Um, it kind of depends on what you d define as a uh, Old West revolver, but a Smith and Wesson uh, number three top break would be fucking awesome to have. I wouldn't mind having a Navy Colt for the aesthetics of it, but cap and ball revolvers are not my favorite. Consider your picture painted. Or ca uh, well, cap revolvers in general, the I mean. that were still alive made a last stand. Hmm. Okay. Rifle, fuck that. We are definitely going to grab a six-shooter instead. Oh, Asim suggests a uh, Lamat revolver. I, I like that too, but I'd probably go Schofield over it. Mm -hmm. The purest form of cancer, says. Bought a red Pew News hat and have had people almost attack me thinking it was a MAGA hat. <laughs> and every time it was some small, lanky looking fool. Yep. Glad I left the left and moved to be the, to be central libertarian. Oh God! Here comes the boss fight. I need to buy me a pew news Curly mug. Bill, Johnny Ringo, and his compadres took off into the lumber yard, and I followed after. Here it comes. Or it might have frozen. What the fuck? Hold on. I think the game actually did freeze. You're kidding. Let's see. Hold on. Just a sec. We might have to restart here. Nope. We're good. Oh, there it we go. It was loading. Okay. This sucks. What's going on? Is it freezing again? I thought it was just loading. Oh, okay. Looks like it is. Are you saying they ran? Cowardice was not in Ringo nor Curly Bill's nature. No, sir. I never said they were running scared. He just wanted me out in the open. Time to get Damn, he doesn't take much damage. This is not how 45 Colt wounds work, by the way. Like so much for stopping power, right? Give it just a sec to kind of calm down. Uh, I'll go ahead and answer some questions while we do that. We'll just kind of chill here for a second. Sure. Crusader Saracen says, Actually, real quick before we go, since it's Wild West night, I just learned that one of the bartenders at my casino yes, sir. is the uncle to the VA for Arthur Morgan from Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, the, the voice actor guy? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Cool. Osmium says, Hello, boys. I got me a lot of change that I'd be happy to share with y'all over the next hour and a half. Also, love you playing Pancho Villa Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> right on. War game says... In fact, you know what I'm going to do? What? What's up? I'm going to exit and restart the game just in case that's what's causing the frame rate drop. Okay. Because it, 
it goes it has checkpoints so I'll be able to start from the beginning of this little section anyways fair enough and we'll answer questions and then I'll jump back in Wargame says a mighty harumph to you Razor and T Cozy very nice <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to see a Razor versus Comics on Judge Dredd so uh, soon? Uh yeah, at some point. I love I love Judge Dredd. It it probably would not be uh, Judge Dredd though. It would be 2000 AD, um, which there is a difference. Because no one gives a shit about your commentary, Bitter Steel. Uh, let's see. Oh, damn it! I lost it. There we go. Uzi Patrol says, Good evening, Razor and TG. Who is your favorite Old West historical figure? Mm. Godspeed. Maybe... Uh, Maybe Seth Bullock? I mean, Wild Bill's the obvious one. Yeah, I mean... But there are some... Who the fuck am I trying to think of? There was a guy... Of course, if I have to remember his name, he's probably not my favorite. But, uh, well, he definitely isn't my favorite. But there was a really, really prolific bounty hunter. Like, Wild Bill, a lot of his uh, kill count is heavily exaggerated, right? A lot of it through dime novels. And a lot of it comes from the fact that there was a raconteur who followed Wild Bill around and sort of exaggerated his exploits. Wild Bill himself didn't exaggerate his his shit. It was really primarily uh, the guy who followed him around sort of documenting his life. But there was a bounty hunter who was basically a serial killer with a badge. <laughs> essentially, right. he killed like over a hundred people, this guy. <laughs> like fucking, and I'm trying to think of who the fuck it was. Oh man, like he was awful. Uh, right. Fuck. I'm blanking on it. I'm sorry. I would I would totally say the name if I could remember who the fuck it was. But yeah, probably it would be Seth Bullock. That's a good choice. Yeah. Simon Steven would like to know thoughts on Zeppelin. Page is a decent riff writer, but I was listening to Ramble On, and the lyrics are terrible. Talk about talking about Gollum and Page is sloppy soloist and is not great live. Uh, yeah, I was never the biggest. I'm not a Zeppelin fan, really. I mean, uh, truthfully, just never really been my thing. I'm not a big Robert Plant guy. I'm not a big uh, Jimmy Page guy. I'm just not a big fan of the band in general. And their offshoots are even more unctuous, to be honest. So there's this whole school of ripping off Zeppelin that I'm not a fan of. (laughs) Renovant <laughs> <Renovant> fleet. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh man, sinus issues tonight. Shit, I got a shitty band stuck in my nose. Killing Jim Miller, Bash Reeds. Uh, sounds like Tom Horn. Pat Garrett. No, it may have been Tom Horn. Hmm. Thank you for the suggestion. So but yeah, basically he was like a real life Wild Bill Hickok, but instead of being a lawman, he was just a bounty hunter. And he used the fact that he was a bounty hunter as an excuse to kill tons of fucking people. <laughs> like he just, he never brought anyone in alive. Jesus. Uh, Trago says, start a Discord server already. I don't know how Discord works. I'm too much of a boomer. <laughs> What is that? Back in my day, we had normal usernames, not usernames with a hash code and a bunch of numbers at the end. You newfangled whippersnappers with your roller boogie. What what, what is that you're sipping on over there? A a little Geritol. Is that a... I'm stewing in some Epsom salts. I see a white can next to you. Is that a a monster? (laughs) Uh, Let's see. Crusader Saracen (laughs) donates again and says, Okay, for real, last one. (laughs) <laughs> Speaking of horses, did you hear that Trump called Ann Coulter the great betrayer and ejected her from the White House? What a snake. I don't get what her angle is, because I'm sure she's more than just a common grifter. Thoughts? I had not heard this. I don't know. 
I I'm I'm not sure about Ann Coulter. Look, Ann Coulter's I've always seen her as what she is. She's an entertainer. You know, she's more like honestly, she's a lot closer to a stand-up comedian than a commentator, which is fine. I kind of take the same tack personally. But uh I think she's I think Ann Coulter is looking out for Ann Coulter. I think she wants to get her name out there. And standing in opposition to a candidate that she initially supported is her way of doing that because she knows the Washington Post is going to talk about her. Um, I think she's probably genuinely pissed that the wall isn't up yet. My problem with Ann Coulter is when, whenever there is an advance on the wall, whenever, for example, the initial um, several miles of fencing or whatever was put up, you know, people were pointing out to her, hey, Ann, they started erecting the fucking wall, and she's still sitting there with her thumb in her cooter like nothing fucking happened. Like, Jesus Christ, Seabiscuit, give credit where credit's fucking due. Uh, the purest form of cancer says, I used to be a drunken peasant, but then I took a razor to the knee. <laughs> and the face. And the groin. <laughs> Pretty sure there wasn't much left when he was done. At least I got a kick-ass mustache out of it. <laughs> Very nice. I used to be a drunken peasant. Then I took a plantain to the pooper. <laughs> and, uh... Drew Johnson says, Loved your recent film here? noir archives. Cowardice Thinking of moving to your beautiful Bell's state nature. to offset the Californians. No, sir. I never Where would you worse. recommend... They just wanted me. Uh, if you want to be away from the Californians, the best place to go is probably um, either go up to Paradise Valley. That's where the rich people live if you got the money. Um, go to the Far West Valley. Or, in terms of cities, uh, really anywhere that isn't Flagstaff or Tucson is going to be your best bet. Uh, I particularly love Prescott. I would move there in heart. In fact, I'm pretty sure the level we're playing on right now is modeled after Prescott, Arizona. It's up in the woods. It actually snows in the winter, but for most of the year, it's not climate-wise all that different from Phoenix. And uh, old mining town, they got a whiskey row out there, a bunch of old 1800s buildings, saloons out there. I mean, the Old West is still somewhat alive there. Um, which I love. It used to be the capital of the Arizona Territory. <laughs> and then they surrendered to the Confederates. So when Arizona became a state, they were like, you know what, Prescott, you don't get to be the capital anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think Phoenix will be the capital now. But yeah, like that, Kingman's pretty cool. I like Yuma, even though it's kind of overrun. Um, yeah, it just depends like where you want to move, but definitely avoid... Avoid fucking Tucson. Oh, yeah, Scottsdale might not be too bad to move into, but again, you have to have the money for it because that's where all the rich assholes live. But I like... I personally love Prescott. I wonder if I can... Ah, you prick. Ah, shit, he's sicking his fucking putties on me. <laughs> oh damn! They do not miss, dude. They do not miss. Ah, damn. Holy shit. Mackenzie Lambert says, Razor, a fan of Bud Spencer and Terrence Hill? Question mark? Uh, not really. Okay. Stealth Creations in there with that $50 donation. Although, although much. Terrence Hill was pretty good as Django. Huh. Pretty good in the Django, like some of the later Django films. The, the one we watched, uh, Django Prepare a Coffin. That was that was Terrence Hill. That's a good one. That's a good one. There, by the way, a lot of people don't realize Django 
The Django movies, not Django Unchained, by the way. That's just fucking... Ugh. I don't know why he called it that. Fucking prick. Uh, I hate Tarantino. But anyway, Tarantino's <laughs> westerns are the drizzling shits, it must be fucking said. But anyways, um, the there were like a billion unofficial Django movies. A lot of people don't realize. Like, there was the first Django movie, which was a huge hit. And then someone didn't copyright it, or Italian copyright law wasn't really in existence yet. So everyone made Django movies. There's like 25 fucking Django sequels, and none of them are official. Um, but a couple of them are pretty good, and Django Prepare a Coffin is one of them. Stealth Creations in there with that $50 donation. Thank you very much. Whoa. Incredibly generous. Whoa. God damn. Shit! Oh my god, dude. Leave me a fuck alone. Holy shit. Find some cover. See, I hate this boss fight. I really do. Is it a bad time for a donation? or In the middle of a boss fight? Yeah, probably. Okay, shit. We'll save it, stealth creations. We'll get to it, don't worry. Come on, bitch. How the fuck did I miss that? Probably because I was shot before he even leveled his revolver. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, fuck. I need more uh, dead eye. I mean, concentration mode. Where is this fuck stick at? If I can nail him with a fucking... with some dynamite. You need to work on your concentration. You gotta build it up. There's only a place you could go... to learn how to concentrate better. <laughs> like some sort of workshop. I know, well, we're in a or, camp. I, or like a school. <laughs> only there were a camp I could go to. Where I can get some solid concentration time in. Somewhere I could really lose some weight, too, would be... Damn, 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 damn. Oh, fuck. That's not gonna hit him. Let's try, um... At least the rifle does some damage. Not much, but... Better than the revolver. Huh. My question is, how can you hit him with that many headshots and not build up any uh, meter? How can you hit him with that many headshots and have him still be alive? Yeah! I mean... A health bar in a western... I mean... Yeah! That, that This is one of the reasons I don't like this... Uh, boss fight at all. It's this specific one, though. I don't have a huge issue with the other ones. Come on, bitch. Right in the back of the head. Back into the left. You fucking prick. Nice. Brocious gave me no choice right. but to take his life. Like I said, not a big fan of that boss fight, but found. it's not that hard. I knew you didn't kill Ringo, because he was found dead in a different location altogether. To this day, his killer is still unknown. Indeed. Took me a few months before I finally tracked his ass to West Turkey Creek Canyon. <laughs> All right. Uh, any questions? Yes. Stealth oh, Creations oh had that $50 donation and said... McCain like in deathbed. Go oh, this. Oh. <laughs> good timing. That was really good timing. It went well with the music. Why does Johnny Ringo look like Lemmy? That's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. No, he didn't. That was in one movie. 
Is this video game citing a movie? Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh! oh I just missed. I, f I fucking overcompensated. Whoopsie. My bad. That's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. Bring me a body bag. <laughs> yes! Yes, please. <laughs> Dishonored. <laughs> Sorry I had to ruin the legend for you, boy. But the legend ain't always true. <laughs> that was it. That's what. That's a dishonorable kill because I drew early. Well, I mean, Which who the fuck's gonna know? <laughs> ain't nobody else there. Plus, he's fucking Johnny Ringo. How many people did he kill? <laughs> I think that's the first dishonorable killing I've done in this game. Anyway. Good soundtrack. McCain in deathbed goes to CNN for Syria war gore footage to pass happy. <laughs> it's Halloween and Trump cuts cuts broadcast dressed while as a vampire announcing Middle East peace deal. <laughs> Assistant asks, is he Count Dracula? No, he answers. Cock blockula. <laughs> Okay. Thank you for your fifty dollar donation. Jesus. You're talking a little loud and a little close to the mic. I am. Yeah. Okay. A little close. Daisy Ridley's acting talent says, "Ever done any stand up? Ever consider yeah, doing it?" I I did uh, two I was open paid mic a nights. I bounty Hold for on. Ringo and Curly Bill, and realized there was real money to be made. That's why I went after Henry Plummer. <clears throat> now, wasn't he the sheriff who augmented his income by shaking down miners and robbing gold shipments? That's the one. Oh, yeah, I remember him. He ran that gang of thieving outlaws called the Innocents. So it's true that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him? Indeed I did, son. Indeed I did. Is that it? Okay. Uh, sorry, what was the... Uh, you ever done any stand-up? Ever yes. consider doing it? I did uh, two open mic nights, and it went really well, actually. But I've I've never like been booked to do anything. Probably should at some point. No, yeah, all right. But the problem is, a lot of the comedy clubs are not very close to where I live. You know, the problem with Phoenix is everything's spread out. This city built out instead of up. So, you know, I don't live way on the East Valley. I don't live way in the West Valley. I live in Phoenix, Phoenix, like actual Phoenix. So, um, not, not terribly uh, close to any of the comedy clubs, sadly. I wish there was one closer. I'd like to just go and catch a comedy show. I knew I resources if I was going to track down Roscoe Bob Bryant. Although I heard there's one downtown now. Huh. There's like a, a, a bigger comedy club downtown now. Continue. Uh, bu 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 Real Reasons says, Andy Worski is suing Jared Holt for defamation. <laughs> he has audio audio recording admitting a rape story on him was false. Which is, I mean, good for him. That is defamation. Absolutely. Man, Jared, Jared Holt, by the way, for those who aren't aware, Jared Holt is affiliated with Right Wang Watch fucking uh, site that many, many years ago defamed Michael Savage by claiming that he was advocating the mass uh, murder of homosexuals, which ultimately got him banned from uh, Great Britain. I mean, his defamation has cost people money. It's gotten people banned from countries. Jared Holt, uh, it's about high time for the tables to be turned on Jared fucking Holt. He's been lying on a lot of people for a long time. And hunting plumber looked like a good way to get rich quick. He he lied about sticks as well recently. As local did he? What did he say? Him as the leader of the I forget. And put a generous price on his head. And how the hell would Jared Holt know Plumber everything about these people? One last gold well, there's your first indicator. He's full of shit. And that's yeah. where I thought I'd find him. Mandracos says, 
Should Barry Goldwater have supported the Civil Rights Act of 1964 to win the presidency? Or was he uh, doomed to lose to begin with? He was doomed to lose to begin with. It had it had very little to do with uh, his stance on the civil rights. It had a lot to do. Ooh, ooh. that's pretty. Um, it had a lot more to do with nuclear fear mongering. You know, uh, oh. fucking LBJ painting him as some nut job who was going to bomb the world into oblivion. Fucking irony of ironies. Yeah. The guy who deepened the Vietnam it War and got hundreds of thousands of men killed. Barrels of gunpowder. Why would you be nervous? No one has the cojones to come after us. <laughs> My late father pointed out to me more than once. God made men. But Samuel Colt made them equal. Yes! Oh. God bless that quote. Oh, oh hello. Fuck you. Ooh. Look at those babies. Davy they Crochet says, I laughed my ass off when you pissed Davy off. Davy Crochet. Crochet? <laughs> I like my version better. I laughed my ass off when you pissed off Banana Boy from the atheism community. <laughs> Did I? I? I don't think he weighed in. It was, uh, what's his schnoz? Hi. It's, uh, fucking, I don't know uh, what's his ass? The only guy left from the, from the drunken pheasants. Yeah, are they all gone? Did they all left. They all went to form their own podcast that no one listens to. <laughs> I knew that dynamite wasn't mine, so I decided the polite thing would be to return it. Oh, Jesus. Danny Numero 6 says, Hey, Razor, it have you seen gold rush They Shutter's Shall Not Grow Old Yet? Unfortunately, prospectors weren't the only ones drawn to those riches. Mm. There we go. Need that rifle. I have not. As we said earlier. Yeah, I definitely need to see it. Robin travelers and hijack gold ships. We definitely do. Is that like, like that ran with plumber. Some were just regular folks huh? I knew from town. Is that getting an actual wide theatrical things. release? I thought it was, Is but it? I I, I looked it up on YouTube John and Crow, uh, to look at new trailers and I actually found the film. James like it's uploaded directly. You can um you can buy it through their service. But oh, I Sam see. And Jeremiah Barber, the butcher sell. I would love to see that in theaters. Ordinary citizens who lived a double life. Stealing and thieving and murdering their neighbors. You know, we could probably do with a little less first person narration here. Come on. There we are. What, Eve? What the f Oh, I just got blowed up. Oh, shit. Uh, he continues, I'm not big on documentaries, but this was a true work of art. Some of the best filmmaking I've ever seen. I can't wait to watch it. Sounds like art did a good job. Ooh! Yeah! Oh, there's somebody over there. Oh, there he is. Fucking gnome over there. What do we got here? Oh, no, you don't. Really? Bitch. Oh, there's one more. Got him. Whoa, whoa! What is your Force request? Were veterans of the Civil War. Stone cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. Why do I need to hear all this? Bummer <laughs> had a lot of men on his payroll. A hell of a lot. That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public with one hand while stealing them blind with the other. 
Oh, that guy's dead. He set up a defensive perimeter, which I had no idea how to breach. Oh, you fucking shit heel. Got it. I was outnumbered and in way over my head. But I was too damn stubborn and stupid to realize it. They must have thought I was tough. <sighs> or had some kind of death wish. Seeing as there were barrels of gunpowder everywhere. Yes. Watch out for the <laughs> one stray bullet, one stray spark, and I'd be blown to hell and gone. Yeah, I could see I that. You don't have so to narrate it, it, ass munch. Uh, Remish has a good question. Uh, if MJ were alive today, do you believe he would go woke like his celeb friends or be apolitical based on his distrust of the media? I, I think he would be the same person he was in life, you know? It's not like uh, politics and, and over-politicization was not around in 2009. He, he took the same route then that he always did you know he was weird in that like michael jackson could be very political without taking sides which is weird it's like a unique gift he could he could do like a a, a press conference with al sharpton or jesse jackson and then he'd turn around and show up at the white house with reagan and get along with him and and then he wrote a, a fiercely anti-abortion song you know called abortion papers that was like explicitly anti-abortion. So he was like, I think he was apolitical. I think politics kind of bored him. <laughs> Sorry, I'll let him know. In, I'll let him know in a second, Eve. <laughs> but yeah, he was like explicitly anti-abortion, but then he was like, he would pal around with left-wing people. I Honestly, I think politics were kind of a... They were a means, not an end for him, which is, you know, I can respect that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, speaking of uh, Tej, and headed on to meet my destiny. Speaking of uh, uh, Tej, the video you need to watch with regard to Tej is the fucking, uh, you, you know, have you ever watched Wrestling Jesus? Me personally, no. Oh, I fucking love Wrestling Jesus. He's amazing. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> a little more of that wrestling news. But uh fucking <laughs> wrestling Jesus had a video <laughs> reacting to fucking TJ uh boiling his balls in oil and jamming a banana up his ass. You don't have to there's no video on the screen. It's just him reacting to it. <laughs> You will laugh. You will laugh for an hour straight. It's fucking glorious. <laughs> but first, I had something I needed to figure out. Because uh, wrestling Jesus hates amazing atheists. Because I guess he's a uh, he's a Christian or something. I I wouldn't have guessed. Yeah. I know. Uh, Damasta asks. Who's worse, Tetsuya Nomura or Hideo Kojima? Oh, Kojima by a mile. <laughs> once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. Okay. It was the quickest way in, but that also made it more dangerous. As there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. Oh shit. Oh, bitch. No, you don't, bitch. Come on. He continues. There we are. Oops. There we are. And why is writing in Japanese games so convoluted and overly complex? Is it a cultural thing? It is absolutely a cultural thing. Have you ever watched, and it's kind of an Asian thing, not just a Japanese thing. Asian entertainment tends to be very maudlin, tends to be very slow paced. I think I, it's because I made a they're... joke out of it a long time ago. There's no Japanese word for pacing, but it, it kind of is true. If you watch, um, fucking, have you ever seen not hard boiled, but uh, 
the one with the Chow Yun Fat movie. We watched two of them. Tomorrow, the the fucking Better Tomorrow yeah, 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 trilogy. Yeah, yeah. You watch <laughs> Better Tomorrow one and two, which are great action movies, John Woo action movies. But then both of them have this midsection where all the characters are crying and talking about their feelings and fucking. It is so maudlin and so Asian, and it's it's very, very much the approach that anime takes. It's very much the approach that a lot of Asian cinema takes. Uh, watch a movie called The Princess Blade sometime. Oh, my God. It opens with this amazing action sequence and all this crazy rehearsed wire work and CGI and post-apocalyptic and people are chopping people's arms off with samurai swords. And then for fucking an hour and a half straight, it's crying and talking about your feelings. And then you get to the end of the movie and there's a big fight and it's over. It's fucking horrendous. The best part of that movie is like the first 15 minutes. It's just, I don't know what it, it's a cultural thing. It just is. Besides, once you enter a mind like that, it's easy to get all turned around. And maybe it stems from Kabuki, I don't know. It could be. And maze of corridors wouldn't even be the worst of it. I think mainly it's the Japanese have very lim limited exposure to theater from what i hear they have no theater oh they have they they obviously have no theater and such they have uh oh i see what you did there. <laughs> sorry i was trying to get headshots i'm not paying attention <laughs> you, your little pun snuck up on me there I hate when little Japanese things sneak up on me. Whoa! There we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh. There we go. Also, I think you need to do your... To go with that pun. I think it's. I think you're supposed to do an Ed McMahon. Hey yo! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I think. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Quick reflexes. Hey. Whoa. Whoa! What the fuck was that? I was not even looking in the right direction. God damn. Busy making fun. Uh, of, but to expand busy on making that? fun of the dead. Not to expand on that. One of the movies I've seen, it, it's supposedly one of the best thr thriller, Japanese thrillers. It's called Audition. I would just need to be careful not to blow myself to kingdom come. And that movie starts at the 44 minute mark. Yeah, that'll happen a lot. Like, it's ridiculous how much setup they go through All for that, that fucking movie. And dynamite everywhere. A body has to know what he's shooting at. Oh dear God! This is very dangerous. This is <laughs> very, very dangerous. Oh dear! One I can see what's happening here. Uh oh! This is bad. I freely admit that my plan of attack is not just moronic, but clearly insane. Whoopsie! What the fu- Oh, it's collapsing. I see. Oh. I thought- I was expecting a minecart to come rolling yeah, down. Yeah, I was too. I'm I mean, like- <laughs> I, There's I, that little, uh, alcove there that you can Yeah, hide. I'm like, it's clearly set up for that. Lord Squirrel Show says- Get the flying fuck out of here. When can we expect Striper to get that accept treatment? Goddamn evil needs his day in the midst of the mythos. Oh, you're... What the fuck was that? A good thing that I Did you actually get out and then die? Before I even tried it. Oh, I see. That's part of the story. Instead, I spotted a ladder. Way into the mine from the opposite side. Narrate less. He's he's asking basically 
w he's asking basically when I'm going to update that mythos. Um, I think I already recorded it. I just need to put it in the review and re-upload it. Hey. That's that. Yeah, that's literally all I have to do. And thank you, sir. Gunslinger! Trapper, close quarters. Eh, I'm not a shotgun guy, really. Brazier says, Hey, Razor and Terran, what's your favorite being, kind of takeaway? Indian, Chinese, that Italian, Mexican? Scared the bejesus out of me. Uh, takeaway? What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> no, my my favorite is uh, definitely Italian. Down that yeah, yeah. Definitely. I mean, I do love me some Chinese, but uh, Italian's the best. <sighs> No man can dodge a damn bullet while climbing down a rickety ladder. Oh, shit. I needed to make a leap of faith. Oh, fuck. Which ain't easy when you're suspended between heaven and hell. And when some asshole is jabbering in your ear for the last 45 minutes. I think maybe it auto-corrected to take away. Probably meant take out. That no. Sheriff Plummer seemed quite the despicable character. When the vigilantes discovered what the sheriff was up to, people were outraged. Why are you telling me all these things? That 10,000 they put on his head would go a long way to help me find old right. Bob. And I had made it my mission to settle that score come hell or high water. God, their aim is perfect. It's 100% perfect. It's really irritating. <laughs> Damn it. Come on. Which is more than you could say for me, apparently. There we are. Eric Brand asks, when is the last time you listened to an entire but album first, in one shot? I would have to make a choice. Uh, Take not long ago. Or climb the ladder. I do that all the time. Uh, Brazier is from the UK. That's why. They call it takeaway. Yeah, that's what I figured. Ah, uh, I see. You know, like, take away your First Amendment rights. Ah! Take away your guns. I'm oh, sorry. That, that train has sailed, my friend. <laughs> I'm sorry. You donate to us, and we I wanted to and use we're giving the you shit. Of I'm sorry. Plus, I sorry. I could use the extra sorry. That refugee train has sailed. Oh. Well <laughs> they ran oh, to America. They ran that train on your women a long time ago. Oh. <clears throat> Anyways, he's gonna leave. <laughs> Uh. All right, where the fuck? There's got to be a ladder around here somewhere. Oh, it's an elevator. Uh, odd. Is there a lever? How do I get up? Oh, I think I have to take this. I see. Plumber was a mad dog killer, and the people of Nevada City deserve better. Nevada City. Well, I thought Plummer met his maker in Bannock, Montana. Right. Well, he was a sheriff of both places one time or another, but that's neither here nor there. The point was, taking him down would save a lot of lives, including my own. Nope. Oh, I see. I'm about to get jumped. Jumped or jungled? Little of column A, little of column B. Is, isn't it a really bad idea to leave dynamite dynamite out in the heat? Uh, yeah. Doesn't it think. sweat nitroglycerin? Something like that. <laughs> Just saying. Henry Plummer was clearly unhinged, and I could see right away that this was going to take some doing. At least he's taking damage, unlike fucking the Sombrero Syndicate earlier. Fucking parting my hair with these shots. Nice shooting ticks. Uh, 
Where's he at? Where'd he run off to? There he is. Ooh, nice. At least this boss fight's going better than the other one. Yikes! That was very close. Oh, Jesus! <sighs> Markod says, Hey, just got to the stream. Did you hear how Chase has closed the bank account of the leader of the Proud Boys? The white supremacist Afro Cuban? Yikes! No, I hadn't heard that. Banks are shutting people down. Now. The, yeah, it's it's getting to the point where there is going to be a court case. There's there's no way around it now. Like, Trump is going to have to like come down hard on these guys. They don't know what they're doing to themselves, and they have no one but themselves to blame at this point. It's like. I, I, Man alive, where the f you kidding me, man? Can I fucking Are you kidding me? Man. One of these guys will miss one of these days. I mean, my God. Yeah, seriously. Just fucking dynamite and surrounded on all sides. That's fucking... I hate boss fights with ads. Like Every single boss fight in this game has ads. Oh, Every single one. I want to fight the boss, not his minions. How do you light two sticks of dynamite and throw them back to back? How does that work exactly? You notice when you dodge the dynamite too, they open up and they always hit you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure that's how the... I'm sure it is exactly how it was designed. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Are you kidding me with that damage? How is it still alive? Oh, he still has a little bit left. Yep. Come on! Let me fucking heal. That is enough of that, dude. Fucking flank my ass, you oh, shithead. Plumber died. Him and his crew were worth their weight in gold. Sweet. Now, I was officially a bounty hunter. Continuing. Crusader Saracen says, since you guys are so cool, I hereby bestow upon you both the legendary N-word pass. Giving you unlimited use of the N-word in any situation for life. <laughs> I mean, I'm Asian, so I don't know how valid it'll be. <laughs> but I'm sure it's fine. I, st I still love the Norm MacDonald bit about Asian slurs. He's like, you know, as slurs go, Chinaman. <laughs> really not bad. It's literally just... A man from China. <laughs> like, fucking... <laughs> How is that offensive? So, did you finally go after that Bob feller? Well, I heard word he was in Kansas with John Wesley Harden. So, that's where I went. You know We're that other legendary Family. person? Yeah. Why do you ask, Ben? No reason. Bam. Was Harden as fast as Ringo? Ringo was fast. 
But John Wesley was as fast as the devil himself. Is the devil known for his alacrity? Hell, he killed his first man at 15. From that day forward, he had a price on his head and wouldn't back down. And ridiculous nobody. holsters. Not even Wild Bill Hickok himself. All right. Uh, go fire away, dude. Joss Ricketts says, "You should make the stream of Phantom Doctrine XCOM, like with COD uh, Cold War spies suits included." Uh, by the way, how far are you on the Bond movies? Oh shit! What was the last one we did for your eyes only? I th was think? that it. I think it was for your eyes only. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where we're up to. Which, by the way, they just added a shitload of Bond movies to Amazon Prime. Ooh, good. So we can tear through those. Uh, one more, and then we'll jump in. Danny Numero Six says, "Thoughts actually, on." Actually, we're getting to where we need to end. Actually. But. Yeah, yeah. Danny Numero Six says, "Thoughts on James James Elroy's L.A. Quartet series." Ah. <sighs> Some are better than others. I like the big nowhere. My issue, honestly, we're kind of mocking this game a little bit because Silas Greaves runs into every famous person in the fucking Old West. That's kind of my issue with James Elroy. James Elroy writes, he doesn't so much write pulp detective fiction as he does write, like, historical fiction and then have kind of a film noir veneer on top. It's sort of cliche and... I'm not the biggest fan of James Elroy. Plus, his politics are complete dog shit. But um, James Elroy, I like the big nowhere. L.A. Confidential is all right. I definitely like white jazz. The whole thing, I don't know. It is what it is. You have to take the good with the bad. He always, you know, his stories always find a way. Oh, hey, look, it's J. Edgar Hoover. Just happens to fucking interact with our hero. Oh, look, yeah. FDR. Fucking Marilyn Monroe is here. It's like, come on, dude. Come the fuck on. Dank Memes says, is there a Mrs. Razor Fist? <laughs> there will be. Yep, we've set the wedding for spring. <laughs> Haven't we? <laughs> I haven't picked out his dress yet. <laughs> Karen Gell says, Mom said it's my turn to play Gunslinger. <laughs> I dodged death so many a time. And that night in that Holy lane, shit. No how, how was that a miss? I do not know. I was there with the intention of finding that bastard Bob. Ooh, is that a top break? Collecting the bounty on John Wist. <laughs> It is a top break. Do I have? Aha! Chuck Connors is the rifleman. Oh fuck! I could real my kingdom for a lean. I thought the Texas Rangers got heart. Yeah, that's what they want you to believe. It was cold in a witch's tit in a brass bra that night. <laughs> I fought my way past the oil compadres. Best way killer would like to know what is your opinion of Jeremiah Johnson? The very same saloon we're sitting in today. Mm -mm, Look around. No particular this place opinion. Painted in blood. Harden was waiting for me, and he says he really enjoys the mountain setting throughout. Wait, I'm jumping the gun here. Let me back up and give you some background on this some bitch. <laughs> yeah, because we haven't had enough narration. Don't you think so, Ben? John Wesley Harden was a killer. By the end, he confessed to taking the lives of 42 men. He was a bona fide folk hero. You're beginning to irritate me. And had a man <laughs> to get <laughs> He and his men set up camp outside of town, and I was hoping Bob was among them. Shit, it's cold out here. Freezing my giblets off. 
Ain't right we gotta stay out here keeping watch like this. Ain't no bear stupid enough to go after Hardin anyway. Better three hours early than a minute too late. Shoot that son of a bitch! They didn't ask why I was there. They knew. Most of them were wanted as well. Oh. I figured Hardin was guy. here somewhere, but to get to Come him, on, bitch. I'd have to get past Aww, his Aw, just missed. Now it was easier said than done, as most of them were as foolish and full of bravado as I was. I had to spill a lot of blood to find out Hardin wasn't in there. Yeah, place. those are some top breaks. He was carousing in town with his closest friends. Hardin's boys apparently didn't want me to reach the bull's head. What the fuck? Oh, Some I see. Some were hightailing it into town to inform their jefe of my unwelcomed presence. Almighty Malachi would like to know. Good evening, Razor. With spring training starting in two weeks, I would like to know your opinion on Manny Machado and Bryce Harper still being unsigned as well as other MLB free agents. I think they're trying to... So for the last several years, I don't know if you've noticed, a lot of uh, MLB has been kind of driving the price down on players uh, when they've been re-signed to these teams. So I think part of the reason they're unsigned is because MLB owners are kind of accustomed to getting their own way lately. Uh, in terms of price, and here's here's two guys that you have to pay because they're they're too good not to. So uh, I think the price has been driven up so much. Some of the MLB owners are kind of gun shy, is all. I believe Harper's probably going to end up in Philly. If he doesn't, it's their own fault. I mean, the the, the Phillies basically have it sewn up on Harper. But you never know. It's fucking baseball. Anything could happen. Um, Machado, I think, will probably go to the Yankees. Either way, like, you really have to feel for the fucking Orioles, man. Like, they spent so much money and they got nothing out of it. They were expected to contend last year, which I, I didn't think so before the season started, but... They got smacked in the face by a great big reality cock once the season started. So. <laughs> Whoa. Osmium says, Greetings, fellow holy men of Arizona. I bring you gold and Saracen scalps like illegal women and with children. Who has a more secure influence over moderates in middle America? Trump or the Dems? Uh, I, I think still Trump. And, and the Dems are not helping their case by supporting extremely marginal partial birth abortion bi uh, laws and fucking, you know, basically birth the child and then kill it laws. Yeah. Like, it, that, it, that's just not helping. Murder. And more than that, it's actually gonna... If they keep doing things like that, it is going to erode their support with Hispanics. Yeah. It won't necessarily drive them into the arms of the Republicans, but if enough Hispanics don't turn up to support you, that's just, that's as good as giving a vote to Republicans. Uh, he also states, also Glenn Beck is the Geppetto to Shapiro's Pinocchio. <laughs> kind of, basically, yeah. He, his base, Shapiro is basically uh, Glenn Beck with Anybody less soft Richie? weeping. Anybody know why Richie did Bobby Lupo? Just replace the weeping with teleprompters. <laughs> S Serpent 21 says, Have you seen the made for TV movie uh, Donato and Daughter? Yes! Two names Charles Bronson and Mark Alimo. Yeah, we watched it, dude. Uh, not bad for a made-for-TV. Godspeed. Yeah, he did a lot of made-for-TV movies right I at the end. Family of Cops and stuff like that. For as good as I was, deep down I wondered if John Wesley wasn't just a little bit better. Well, the only one we need to watch still uh, was his last film. Family of Cops 3. Yeah, Family of Cops 3. 
after that, he got his hip surgery, I believe, and after that, he couldn't do action movies because he was recovering, and then he got Alzheimer's, and then Before that was I it. Before I could test my yeah. mental against Damn Harley, shame. however, I would first need to dispatch his car. Whoa, whoa, empire whoa, killer. whoa! Shit, I fucking hate quick time events. Most of these degenerates were beyond redemption. Yeah, that is a cool mechanic, but it does pretty story. much boil down to a. To well, a quick time event. And the quick time events don't really stand out on the screen because everything, the whole HUD is yellow. Yeah. So it just pops up and you kind of, you notice it's there and then there's not enough time to hit it. Let me try that again. Metalhead Martyr says, thoughts on Ozzy's recent health issues? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's the same health issues he always has where he's he doesn't take care of his voice and shit. He's always like he's always had those issues. Ozzy doesn't take care of himself on tour, which or is why he's, which is why he sounds terrible and why he has other people singing for him back behind a curtain. Like fucking God damn it! Fucking almost cap there. I think you might want to pause for this one. Why? Rui Vasquez takes issue with you. What's Deadwood that? is the greatest Western ever made. It certainly is. It didn't even have a fucking resolution. Seth and Al should have killed the shit out of Hearst and his men. Other than that, it didn't have Western. a resolution because uh, David Milch was told that they'd be able to finish the story in two movies. And then... The ownership of de of HBO changed because the uh, head of HBO got busted for... He beat up a hooker or something in Las Vegas. He got shit-faced drunk and beat up a hooker, and then yeah. he got ousted. And then when the new regime came in, they said, Oh, all these shows, Rome and Deadwood and shit like that, they're all too expensive, so we have to cancel them all. And then, of course, they immediately greenlit... Game of fucking Thrones, the most expensive television show ever made. Uh, it, it's TV politics. Whenever somebody new comes into a leadership position, they cancel all the shows from the previous regime so they don't have to share credit, right? This is this yeah. always happens. You look at the Fox network. Fox always has, like, a, a new guy will come in, and then they'll cancel everything. That's what happened in the early 2000s with Greg the Bunny and Family Guy and that 80s show and all that fucking bullshit, right? Everything got canceled because the new person came in. So that's why there was no resolution. David Milch didn't fuck up there. Fucking HBO did. Yeah. Um, and I actually kind of like the way it ended personally because it was like, instead of being some big grand, this is the end kind of a thing where uh, fucking Hawkeye spells out uh, shit with rocks as Trapper John leaves in a fucking helicopter, instead of, like, a big maudlin ending, they just... It was another day in Deadwood, which is realistic. You know what I mean? It kind of worked on that level. Let me put it this way. Deadwood said more about the human condition in three unfinished seasons than The Wire did in five finished ones. True. I didn't learn until later that that night was, in fact, his birthday celebration. All right, there we go. I better switch to the rifle here. Come on, baby. God, some jerky animations. I don't give a fuck. My life is a complex pastiche. Donates 25. Thank you very much. All right. Speaking of Jim Carrey, let's define irony. <laughs> An actor who plays a character whose nickname is Bernie, Fire, Mar Fire Marshal Bill Burns, later turns into a commie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Jim Carrey. He wants us to say yes to socialism. Keep in mind, this is the guy who said yes to the cable guy. 
<sighs> Iron Confed says, "Are there, are there Western style stories of the shadow?" Um. No, but before the shadow came out, there was a character in in an old pulp western called the shadow uh you just just referred to as the shadow just a writer in black and very very similar to the shadow in a lot of ways and, and kind of a precursor to the shadow um i know that the shadow inspired the first version of ghost rider not the one on the motorcycle the Old West Ghost Ghost Rider. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, you know, the original incarnation of the character. Um, and in fact, Ghost Rider's creator wrote the foreword for one of the Shadow Pulp reprints where he talked about how the Shadow is this huge inspiration for him. The whole idea of this, like, elemental force of vengeance was uh, totally inspired by the Shadow, like 100%. So, uh... The shadow has a lot of Western in him anyways. It's funny. People kind of think, oh, he wears a fedora. Nope. He wears an Old West uh, Undertaker hat. He wears like a, a slouch hat. He wears a cowboy hat, technically. And he wears like an Inverness cape, you know, Old West regalia. He's got sort of a frock coat on. Again, Old West attire. Like he's kind of a cowboy in a weird way. He's dressed like an Old West Undertaker when you really break it down. I think I already mentioned that I found but there's, uh, in this very saloon. In terms of stories that are Western themed, I think there are a couple of pulp stories that are Western themed. I'm blanking on the titles of them, though. I mean, look, guys, there's like 300 pulp stories that were written. So <laughs> there's some variety there. Suffice whoa, it to whoa. say, nobody there was happy to see me. Got him. Metalhead Martyr would like to know what do you think of Ghostbusters 3 coming out? I do not understand why that got a sequel. <laughs> uh, what the fuck no. is this? Is this guy not taking damage? Am I crazy? It's not a sequel. It's another proper Ghostbusters movie. It's Ghostbusters. I, I'm aware of that. I'm saying, why the fuck did they make another one? I have no idea. I felt a certain hostility. Maybe they thought it would be their last chance before someone else dies. Damn it. Got him. I was disappointed that neither Bob nor John Wesley were among the dead. All right. But that was short-lived, as a moment later I was facing down the fastest gun in the West. Oh, shit. Do I have to duel this guy? This gonna you suck. Think so. This gonna suck. I killed a man for snoring. <laughs> And 40 more for breathing. I felt a bolt of adrenaline. Or maybe that was fear. He was well known for his tricks. And I knew I'd need my own if I was ever to defeat him. Shit. Oh, fuck. I think I was a little slow. I think I was a little slow. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, fuck. I dodged the wrong way. Damn. Oh, shit. You didn't hit me then. I'm sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> you never got me down. You never got me down. <gasps> five of them. It took five of them. Uh, Jesus. <gasps> Holy shit. Holy shit. I hate this dueling system. Not as bad as Red Dead 2, though. What is, though? Ah, fuck. What the fuck is this? That man was faster than Grease Lightning. 
But being inebriated as he was, he didn't count his shots. And now, he was at my mercy. Was he? What? So he didn't die? No, I sent him to prison. Years later, after he was free, some restless Avenger took his life. Shot him in the back of the saloon, just like this. Anybody up for another beer? Ben? Okay. <laughs> All right. Did I get any skills? Yes, I did. Uh, did you just want to push through the rest of these then? Yeah, to rock on. All right then, Stealth Creation says, with SPLC sued by Gavin and the uh, Covington kids after the media, uh, Andy Worski against Jaron Holt and Tommy R going against BBC, do you see 2019 being best year? <laughs> every every year has been better than the year before it for a little while here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> look, um, a lot of this... The left losing in 2016 made them inclined to not play fair, which means deplatforming people. And in an age where a lot of people are making their living off the internet, that was always going to result in lawsuits. This was inevitable. It was 100% inevitable. Um, so it just looks like we're finally reaching that point. It took a little longer than I thought it would. I thought it would take a year at most. No, it appears to be taken two years and some change. Yeah. Um, this is 100% inevitable, and this will set the precedent. And that's one of the reasons why it's so important that the Supreme Court, uh, that, that Trump gets some Supreme Court appointees, because Christ knows John Roberts isn't going to uphold the uh, constitutional argument. S. Serpent 21 says, If you're thinking of moving to Prescott, they have a cool gun store. J&G Sales, not they have far a lot from... Of, they have several cool gun stores. Not far from uh, Arturo's, Filiberto's, and a great Carl's Jr. Godspeed. <laughs> right on. <laughs> James Percy says, if Cortez burns their ships, does it produce carbon or just socialism? <laughs> <laughs> Hunger. Hunger. Uh, Low T, since Razor put a ring on it, has Frau Fist shredded your body pillows? <laughs> <laughs> Never. I don't know. Dr. Healgood, PhD, says, Hey, Razor, got a chance to tune in for a few during the, this deployment to Afghanistan. I like my women like I like my coffee. Without a penis. <laughs> Fair? I don't know. You get a Starbucks, you get at least... I'd say you get at least 20% penis these days. <laughs> JCast. It, depending on whether or not it identifies as a penis. Is, uh... Yeah, well. JCast says, Dear Razor, uh, what about the Walker Walker Colt unrivaled stopping power until the 30, 357 mag? Stop. Well, I mean, it depends on how you define stopping power. I don't want to get into a whole fucking ammunition argument. You know, I, I, I think... Uh, Stopping power is a very exaggerated uh, <laughs> idea, and it's and it's rather abstract too. You know what I mean? Like, because what what really creates stopping power? Is it the speed, the velocity of the bullet? Is it the mass? Is it both? I I don't fucking know. I know f forty-five Colt slugs are pretty fucking big, and if they hit you, they're probably gonna hurt. Yeah, that's what I know. That's what I. I and you know what else I know? Pretty much any bullet under the yellow sun is going to do that to you. Uh, <laughs> you know, because if the, like, 22 is considered, like, the pussiest round on planet Earth, right? right. A lot of people are like, oh, you you have a defense weapon with a 22 round in it? Ho, 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 why don't you just uh, use a spitball launcher? It's like, okay, I mean, that would hold a little more water if I didn't watch fucking Investigation Discovery and every other case is she shot him in the head with a 22 revolver. Like, every other fucking yeah. case. 22 revolver is like the wives killing their husbands for the life insurance money round. Yeah. Uh, so clearly 22s can get the job done. Any bullet will get the job done. S stopping power is an exaggerated uh, thing. Shut up, you dumb broad, says. <laughs> Why do black people smell? Oh, God. So even blind people can hate them? 
Very good. I knew it. It's I've very heard that old. one before. It's really old. Yeah, it's, oh, uh, man, old as the hills. Also, any update to the, on the podcast? Looking forward to it, and Godspeed, my friends. I've already... I'm, I'm stockpiling them. I'm recording several in advance. Nice. I've got one full one, completely recorded and edited. I'm going to do, I think, two or three more, and then I'll kind of have them stockpiled. And I can either do them weekly or monthly or whenever I feel like doing them. And I'll just kind of release them and record them at my leisure because of the nature of it. Because I'm devoted to one subject, I have to sort of make every single episode almost like an essay, a long-form essay about that particular subject. So I want to make sure that every episode has a theme, that it sticks to that theme, that it doesn't wander far afield, you know, all these things. I want to make sure it's up to the standard. Brazier says, hey, Razor, have you ever fired an over-under 12-gauge for clay pigeon shooting? Mm-hmm. It was my first ever experience with a gun, and it was awesome. Missed every shot, but it was worth it. I've never gone clay shooting. Never. No. Oh. Oh. Goat with glasses says, what's your opinion on Megadeth? Uh, they'd be really good if Dave Mustaine hired a singer. <laughs> Dave Mustaine is the entire problem with that band. His guitar playing's awesome, but uh, and his riffs are great, but uh, Jesus Christ, dude, hire a singer. Wouldn't it be cool? Like, okay, you're a Megadeth fan. You like Dave Mustaine's vocals. That's great. Whatever. Throw yourself a parade. But uh, wouldn't it be cool if there was just one album where, like, as an experiment, he hooked up with, like, Ripper Owens or something? or Like, just, just for that one album, you know, as an experiment. Megadeth... Plus Bruce Dickinson, Megadeth plus Joey Belladonna. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think that would be interesting. I think that'd be a cool idea for a Megadeth album. Why, why the fuck not? I mean, Metallica worked with Lou Reed, and that worked out really well. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> Osmium says, "Hey guys, who do you think would win in these boxing matches? Ready? Pelosi versus Mannequin." <laughs> Uh, Lennon's ghost would win that <laughs> round. Yeah. Glenn Beck versus a mirror. Uh, the box of Kleenex to his immediate right would win. Uh, ben Shapiro versus a school locker. <laughs> ben Shapiro versus a stepladder. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. That was very good. The locker would win that round. Uh, you didn't really? No Hillary versus a Stairmaster? Uh, Nobody? Nobody's going to say Hillary versus Stairmaster. Joss Ricketts <laughs> says, would you play an RTS game on stream? Uh, yeah, I, I want to do, because there's a new DLC out for Battletech, I really want to do another Battletech stream. Yes, people forget we uh, streamed Battletech. We did. We only did the very beginning, though. I want to do a lot more of that. Mm. Big Chungus says, thoughts on the Me Too movement, both fans and voice actresses, now attacking Vic uh, with false and counterfeit reports of sexual harassment and homophobia. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just another example of of Me Too and it's kind of self-perpetuating nature. Unfortunately, you know, it, 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 Fortunately, it is beginning to die down because you notice the left get a lot less enthusiastic about uh, Me Too when it hits one of their favorite political figures and ushers a Republican into an office. You know what I mean? Suddenly they get a lot less enthusiastic about Listen and Believe. But uh, it does feel like it's winding down a little bit, fortunately. The specific instance that you're talking about, though, I haven't looked into heavily. I did... I did kind of read a brief summary, and it sounds like Seven Shades of Bullshit to me. Yeah, I mean, you have to reserve judgment in these things now, because... Unfortunately, yeah. I mean, look at what happened to Cosby. He was exonerated in court, and then Me Too happened, and they were kind of like... And then the judge was like, no, 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 uh, inconclusive, retrial. Ugh. And... Uh, it was like, well, well, what the fuck? So the retrial happens, and wouldn't you know it, with fucking Me Too raging. Like, that was the peak of Me Too hysteria. That was right when the Weinstein stuff came out and Spacey and all that shit. And right then, Cosby gets convicted. 
And it's like, wait a minute, he was just exonerated a minute ago. What changed? It's the same evidence. And in fact, the second time around during the retrial is when Janice Dickinson on the stand, who's one of the accusers, admitted she concocted the whole fucking Cosby story in her book. Mm -hmm. She made the whole thing up. She broke down on the witness stand and admitted she was a liar. So the wit it's the same evidence, but the witnesses break down as not being credible, and somehow he gets convicted. I have a feeling this... Um, this appeal is probably going to go very differently now that Me Too is dying down a bit. Yeah. Personally. Iron Confed says, heard that the wall is going through a national butterfly center and Native American sites. Is it a legit concern or just another lefty freakout? I don't know of any. Hold on. Like, what Native American? There are no reservations near the border. Not that I know uh, of. The big Navajo reservation here in Arizona is up north. I think there's a Hopi reservation around yeah. between here and Tucson. It's up in the uh, northeast. Oh, right. Okay. But, like, that's all I know of. Uh, I mean, statistically, the state that would have the most chance of having uh, it overlap with Native American uh, reservations is Arizona. We have the largest number of uh, full-blooded Native Americans in the entire country. But our reservations are nowhere near the goddamn border. Yeah. So who the fuck are they talking about? I'm New Mexico, sure. maybe? Possibly. I don't fucking know. Uh, Adher it's certainly not here. Yeah. Adherent of Lady Columbia says, Questions, Razor. First, what's your best method for finding new music, especially with YouTube? It's been hard to break out of the algorithm. Yeah, you don't get recommended a lot of music, uh, even if you listen to a lot of music on YouTube, which is, is is weird. Actually, it's not, because it all gets copyright claimed. Yeah. Nothing that's copyright claimed gets recommended to you. That's one of the reasons you don't get some of my videos uh, sent to your subscription boxes. It's a damn it, shame. Because they get copyright claimed, or they get demonetized for offensive content, so you don't get sent it. Um, I, a lot of times, I'll just look at specific band members and kind of follow them around uh following glenn hughes career led me to a lot of really good stuff uh following uh Yngwie, following george lynch you know some of those people the the musicians that i like i kind of follow their career look at other stuff they were involved in and usually from that you'll kind of get this uh, you know, butterfly effect essentially that happens where you get into a lot of other sort of tertiary music on the side. I, I think that's the best way to go around it. Go on Metal Archives and look at some of the stuff they used to be in or, or did later. All right. Mr. E's Absurdities and Atrocities says, Razor and Terran, how do you guys like Payson compared to Prescott and Prescott Valley? I like Payson, although it fucking murders my allergy. I have the stupidest allergy in the history of mankind. You want to hear this fucking allergy? No, oh, here we go. I don't have fucking allergies. Like, in daily life, I don't have goddamn allergies. I am allergic to, of all fucking things, pine trees. Really? Yeah! So, Payson, like, murders my ass. It just <laughs> murders me. Within, like, two, three days, I can't stop itching my eyes. It's, like, crazy. Uh, oh, it's awful. But, yeah, like, Payson I like except for that. Because it's very thick pine forests up there. He concludes, I know it's much smaller, but I dug the vibe a bit more the times I've been. Cool. I like it, and there's some very cheap land up there. Yeah. If you ever want to buy some land to live in, you know, in like a, a shit-hit-the-fan scenario or something, uh, the White Mountains are a great place to buy it. You can get it for dirt fucking cheap. Now, it's not terribly valuable land. Yeah. But in the event of a shitty situation, you are going to have uh, water near the area because it comes down from the glaciers out there. And you are going to have woods, and uh, you can certainly build a house there. But, uh, yeah, it's the White Mountains are a good place to get cheap property. Mr. Mephisto uh, gives us a $50 donation. I'm Thank not a you. survivalist for the record, though. I was just saying, just offhand. Uh, very generous, Mr. Mephisto. Evening, Razor and T-Boogie. Two questions. One, will the MLB, the Dodgers in particular, <laughs> get burned for their activity in Latin America? You mean the, uh, basically 
their steroid academy down in the fucking DR. Oh, really? Yeah, like everyone, here, here's an interesting statistic. I heard this on a radio show I was listening to. Every MLB player that has been busted for steroids in the last 10 years, except for two or three of them, was from the Dominican Republic. Something's going down in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> it, it basically, they are they are shitting these kids out straight into a vat of steroids <laughs> and then handing him a bat. That's basically what's happening. The DR is just steroid island at this point. So uh, I, I assume that's what you're talking about. And number two, will there be Western Razor Fist cinema in the coming future? Godspeed and Reds are smaller with lead in the head. <laughs> Smarter with lead in the head. I misread that. Um, yeah, as opposed to in the food. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I. Yeah, absolutely. Lone Wolf McQuaid would kind of qualify. Oh yeah. Uh, Daisy Ridley's acting talent says, "Was that oh, a picture of Taryn on the Street Fighter Four review?" Thank you, darling. No. Yeah, some say revenge is a dish best served cold. So whatever happened to that Bob guy you were after? Personally, I'd like to hear some of your other adventures. Like, uh, I don't know, you ever go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a red man? And we, we were fighting over a Miller Lite. Oh, yes, shit. I did, ben. Silas Greaves I versus Elizabeth Warren, Patches round one. Apache, Gray Wolf. Strangely enough, Revenge Wasn't was that a Conan the Adventurer companion? I'm trying to remember. Nightwolf. Nightwolf wins. He was a little busted. Yeah. Dances with renegades. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Dances with ballot boxes. All right. Continue. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. But thank you for that huge donation. Thank you. Uh, Daisy Ridley's acting talent asks, was that a picture of me in the Street Fighter 4 review? No. No. That was actually, uh... People also have asked, uh, if it's him at the beginning of, um... Abraxas, Guardian of the Universe. No, that's, uh, the Rebate Master. That's my, um, longtime broadcast buddy. Uh, he did... We did a political radio show in the early 2000s together. That's kind of where the Rageaholic distantly descends from. Praxis. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I was the one filming. Yeah, you were filming. I, that. I was the cameraman. Yeah. Uh, Wiggles says, Good news. New York and Virginia have just passed a bill removing gun restrictions. All you need to do is become a licensed, licensed abortionist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. All you have to do is hand in your hood and blackface. Uh... Nicole says, great stream and Godspeed to you, Taryn and Eve. <laughs> Matthew Carson says, what are your thoughts on No Country for Old Men? I've heard it described as neo-noir uh, and a western yeah. all wrapped up in a thriller. Nah. You know, it, it strikes me as like what the, uh, what the Coen brothers would think a noir is. Not really, uh, it's a good example of the very liberal interpretation of what noir is today. Yeah. Where basically to lend any movie additional credibility, we call something film noir when it really isn't. I remember vividly when that was coming out, and I think Zodiac came around at, around the same time. They kept throwing around the noir name a lot. I think Black Dahlia, too, was around that time. Yeah. So a bunch of those movies came out at once, and really only one of them was noir- I don't know, Zodiac kind of is, but they were, like, really only one of them was noir, and it sucked. Fucking Black Dahlia. Just terrible. Yeah. Terrible, terrible. Good idea in terms of the book. That's the other part of the uh, the James Elroy uh, quadrilogy, as, you, as it were. And he asks, uh, also, do you think it's overrated or appropriately rated? Um... I, I've seen it once. It was I remember it being pretty good, but uh, not noir. 
David NS84 says, just recently saw Tombstone for the first time. Good fucking movie. My God, what an awesome movie. That's a great one. A golden example of how Hollywood used to make movies. And a very underrated director, George George P. Cosmatos, who also directed Cobra. A lo- he, a lot of times, he got a reputation for being like a ghost director. Like he would let the stars direct the movie. Hmm. Um, he, they said that when Cobra came out, that Stallone really directed Cobra and George P. Cosmatos just kind of sat there and did nothing, which is not really true. And they said that with Tombstone, with Kurt Russell, they claimed that Kurt Russell directed the movie and George P. Cosmatos, they called him George P. Comatos because he just sat there and ate and didn't do anything, which here's the thing. If you watch movies over the course of George P. Cosmatos' career, they all look gorgeous. They all have a similar kind of aesthetic and feel, and they all have really memorable visual moments. And that can't be an accident. Like, he didn't have Kurt Russell directing all of his movies. He only was there for one. I think what they really mean is he let his stars have a direct hand in what the ultimate, you know, project, the final product actually looked like. Um, which is good, not bad. It doesn't make him a hack. Um, may he rest in peace, by the way. I believe he's dead now. Uh, he continues, The only big flaw was how they awkwardly wrote around Wyatt Earp d- discarding his wife. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Black Raptor says, Hey, Razor and Terran, just got one of the new Battletech box sets. By the way, that movie is narrated by which film noir icon? Who? Robert fucking Mitchum. Ah, oh, I was going to guess Robert Mitchum, too. You're goddamn. It was one of the last. I th- think it was one of the last or the last thing he did. Hmm. Uh, got the new Battletech box set. Trying to get the beginners s- the beginners set, but all the stores keep getting sold out. So still on the lookout. Fuck yeah, man. Get it. Get, Looking- it. get it off Amazon if you have to. Just Look- get that goddamn thing. Looking forward to painting them soon. I recommend getting the the full thing, though, not so much the beginner set. Pardon me. Uh, if you're going to get it, go f- go full ham, man. Get uh, the game. I believe it's called the Game of Armored Combat. Battletech, the Game of Armored Combat. That's the full thing. It's a little more pricey, but you get more. Actually, we can we can. Oh, you can do it from there. Yeah. All right, thanks. Phone's about to die. Where are we at here? Okay. No country for old men. Okay. Black Raptor. Uh. Nobody messes with Adam Wee. Razor, where exactly do you make your videos? Basement, attic, squalid shack in the middle of the desert. Just curious, in a previous vid, you mentioned... Yeah, exactly. No, um, it, it kind of depends. I have uh, a room set up for recording, but I haven't used it much. Um, kind of... I, I have a couple more things I want to get, like a proper boom mic or something, and then... I'd probably record everything there. But that's like a that's like a back room. There's nothing else there. So it's like it's soundproofed. It's perfect. It's absolutely fantastic. Wouldn't bother the neighbors or anything. So um that's that's kind of my recording place at this point. Uh the purest form of cancer. Have you heard about Tommy Robinson's huge exposé about the BBC and and Pano Pano drama? If it's as big as he keeps claiming, Britain is going to look like revolutionary France. I haven't heard anything about it. I'm sorry. Cross, you hear about the Alison Mack Smallville actress sex ring case and how she's using Scientology being legal as a defense. Thoughts? (laughs) Wasn't that originally, like, not even technically a religion? It was like a self-help thing? The whole thing kind of started, yeah. yeah, The whole thing kind of started as almost like a support group or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't even a didn't they have like didn't they have like this stupid test that you had to take? Like you've got like like toxins in your body or something. 
A bounty was put on Grey Wolf's head. Shut That's up. That's how I came to hunt him in the mountains. I was just gonna quit. But yeah, I thought they had like some stupid made-up test that you had to take. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It sounded to me like a great way to get a really ugly guy laid. That's what uh, it sounded before you anyway. continue, kind of like Satanism. Before oh. you continue with the super chats, we just have a couple of stream labs here. Uh, Mute Gamer says, "Hey Razor, since you seem to like the EDF series, what's your opinion on the upcoming Iron Rain?" I don't know what the hell that is. It's going to be the newest uh, EDF. Oh, ex oh, an expansion or a full game? another full title? Sweet. It's uh, more EDF is only good. It's a so-called serious take on the EDF series. Oh no! Hey, more shitty voice acting. Uh, I'm, I'm totally for that. I don't know. If they Joe. try to go grim dark with it, I think that could actually fuck up the magic, don't you? A little bit, yeah. I mean, you don't want it to be too self-aware, but still. Uh, you want Joe. it to be conventionally shitty. Kind of like rad. Yeah. <laughs> we still have to play that on stream. We do need to play you, rad You on need stream. to sit me down and, and, and fucking play that. That's great. <laughs> uh, Joe Rogan is a three foot, is three foot one, says... What is your opinion of people who ride their bicycles in traffic? <laughs> I think they should spend more time in traffic. <laughs> preferably off a bike. And that's the last of the stream labs. If you would like to continue with the purest form of cancer. I already uh, talked. I already answered his. Lapco92, thoughts on the movies of Robert Bronzy Kovacs, the Bronson lookalike, another Bruce Lee. L.I. <laughs> uh... I the only problem is you have to get a good voiceover guy for him because he do, he has a thick accent. The guy's like he's just a lookalike, right? Like he's not really an actor. He just looks exactly like Charles Bronson. So you need to find someone who has a really good Bronson impersonation. And unfortunately, in a lot of the movies I've seen, they do not have that guy. Uh, nobody really has been able to do a proper Bronson voice impersonation it's, it's always the stereotype yeah or or it's just like a gravelly voice or something and it just sounds wrong so a lot of times the smarter filmmakers will just have him say nothing which is also a problem because you want to hear that bronson voice they need they just need a good bronson voice impersonator that's all they need and he'll be perfect uh, but i like him i like him a lot brazier will razor play brutal doom on a stream someday i would love to I don't think I have it right now, though. Eyes of the Wolf 101, preferred weapon of choice for home defense. For home defense, I think uh, shotguns are a great way to go. Yeah. Um, I couldn't recommend because I don't know shotguns that well, but uh, shotguns are usually, they're pretty good for home defense. Um, I, you know, obviously a handgun of some kind is really good. H capacity doesn't matter a whole lot. You know, a revolver is fine like i said most defense shootings most home defense shootings most any modern shootings are ended in between one to three shots so capacity is not a big deal and honestly if you have a high capacity handgun what winds up happening is the person just winds up emptying the magazine and the person was dead on the first shot so it doesn't even matter you know what i mean uh, but yeah, some kind of handgun, but shotguns are great too. For for me, obviously, it's a revolver. Y you awake over there? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Um, yeah. Kansky Rada. Hey, Razor, was wondering your opinion of Agalach. Uh, not a fan. Not a fan. Howling Feng 6258. Was there ever a time when the Dems had even just a shred of dignity to their name? Have they always been as bad as they are now? Also, uh, okay. Have they always been as bad as they are now? <clears throat> there was a time when there were kind of blue dog Democrats who were much more middle of the road and much more about labor rights and even individual states' rights and personal civil liberty. And to me, I could respect that, even though a lot of the other political ideas they were pushing, uh, I find abhorrent and idiotic. You know, those kind of, you know, people like uh, Joe Lieberman, those kind of guys. But that that Democratic Party is way the fuck in the rearview mirror. Yeah. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard is kind of the ghost of that a little bit, but there ain't many. Uh, that that Democratic Party is pretty much gone, Daddy gone. 
Also, favorite Family Guy episode and show tune. Godspeed. Oh, I don't have a favorite show tune because all those show tune segments fucking suck. Uh, favorite Family Guy episode. Maybe the one where they go into witness protection in the deep south. Yeah, that's not bad. I like that one. Uh, illusionist. Love from the center of the earth. And then a bunch of Arabic. Or a bunch of Farsi or something. It looks like Farsi, actually. Uh, Dylan Killen. God, Godspeed, by the way. Illusionist. Dylan Killen, you thought I wouldn't donate this stream. You thought you wouldn't hear from the Killen. But you were mistaken. I've made my move. And now it's your turn. <laughs> You should write movie poster taglines. Uh, please don't be the guy who photoshops modern movie posters, though. Holy fucking shit, modern movie posters suck. Yeah. Have you seen, like, blue uh, and orange everywhere? Dude, have you seen modern movie poster cringe compilations? Oh, oh no. Like, especially romantic comedies are, like, the fucking worst. Like, the photoshop jobs. You'll have, like, Cameron Diaz's head, like blatantly copied and pasted onto an older woman's body and her, she's like turned and she's missing her arm if you look closely uh, and it's like <laughs> the weirdest fucking shit dude. i gotta look some of that up that sounds oh, great oh man it's off it's like a whole subgenre, man they pay some guy in fucking india like five cents and a handful of pocket lint and a hand a handy basically to uh, photoshop these things and then they're like why why are they so shitty i don't know what was one of the really bad ones the the Cuba Gooding Jr. one where he's on the fucking cruise ship. Oh, really? Oh, what is that one called? I got that as a gag gift once uh, f for like a Secret Santa, by the way. I got a Secret Santa at work and the person gave me that fucking shitty movie. Oh, God. <laughs> I was so pissed. Uh, I, and I think this is the last one. Mr. Sofa King, Bubsy 3D for Razor Fist Arcade when I've never played Bubsy 3. Have you played any of the Bubsies? I might have like rented it as a kid. Yeah, I rented it. I rented one of the old Bubsies on SNES and I remember really liking it. Too. Like I remember legitimately thinking that game was kickass. It was so good that people Got a new one. Going to ask this again. Edwin Solis, uh, this is in a super chat, but he says, going to ask this again. Just in case he says, he sees, what do you think of the first Donner and Burton Superman and Batman movies? Um, I The first Superman's great. And uh, the, the very, f oh, oh, you mean the 60s Batman. Uh, the 60s Batman movie sucks a chode. But it's fun to watch and yeah. make fun of. Like, it's fun in that way. Some Which is all you can ask, man. Bomb. Like, what's wrong with that? Uh, Sometimes you just can't get rid of a bomb. We had that as a super chat, by the way, on the Batman stream, and nobody got it. Yep. Fucking sucks, man. But fucking thing sucks. <laughs> fucking thing sucks. But the first Superman movie is gold. I love it. And the one that Canon Films made. The fucking, is it the Quest for Peace? God, that one's brilliant. That one's awesome. That's almost like Adam West, Batman, but for Superman. <laughs> like, it's awesome. It's fucking incredible. <laughs> Any others? Oh, Boat Trip. McCaffrey uh, answered what that is. It's Boat Trip. Oh, man. That fucking movie is awful. Vlad, did you uh, have a question before we wrap this up? Uh, Kenny Powers asks, thoughts on Frank Robinson, RIP. I only know Frank Robinson because he was, you know, he was not of my era. I know him as a manager, and he was, he was not a bad manager. He got a really bad rap as a manager. He was voted worst manager in baseball, like, five times. Like, he was, <laughs> but in fairness, he was on teams that weren't spending money. You know, he was on, like, the Expos and shit. He was on the Nationals at the very beginning when they weren't spending money. It was not his fault. Because um, if you look at it, I know the first year that he managed the Expos, the Expos had, like, five straight losing seasons, and he actually got the Expos to a winning record for the first time in half a decade. Uh, actually, longer than a half a decade because of the, work stri the, the strike in 94 or whenever the fuck that was. So Frank Robinson, rest in peace. You know, I, I think he deserved better than his reputation as a manager. 
Um, but yeah, first black manager in baseball, so really culturally significant, but I think a better manager than he's given credit for. He was, that was one guy who was like just this side of lapsing into a coma. Like he was, <laughs> I saw him get angry at an umpire once and I swear he might've lifted his arm a single time. Yeah. Like he might. <laughs> It's like, you could not tell when he was mad. Of course, he was like a thousand years old at that point. <laughs> All right, gang. Uh, thank you for joining us here on Razor Fist Arcade Live. We hope you enjoyed the uh, headshot and adventures of one Silas Greaves as he narrated himself taking a fucking shit. For Terengel, I am Razor Fist. God fucking speed.